Hi, it is currently 3 p.m. April 5th, and I'm about to go venture off to the movie theater to see the Super Mario Bros. movie. And I am very nervous. I have only seen the trailers and I've not seen any clips, any TV spots or anything. So I've only seen things from the trailers, but I am nervous. I am nervous because as a Sonic fan, I did very much enjoy Sonic Movie 1 and Sonic Movie 2. And people have been telling me, oh, the Mario movie's going to outsell Sonic, but I guess I'm about to find out. And I'm inviting you along for this experience as well. So, with that being said, let's just go ahead and use our warp pipe and jump straight to the movie theater. Just, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again, shall we? Hey, so I'm at the theater, we're here. And uh, you guys are probably wondering how many people came to see the movie, the Mario movie, right? How many people? Guess, guess how many came. Guess how many guess. Guess. Well, here, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show, let me show you just how many people came for the Mario movie. No one. Absolutely nobody. Anyway, hey, let's go in. Actually, wait. My friends aren't here yet. Now let's wait for them inside. Car insurance to progressive. You can save hundreds. Bruh. I can't believe I wasted ten dollars on this movie. Like, come on! Do they really expect me to? Uh, hello? What? A review? I just got home. Are there plenty of other YouTubers on the? What? With Holla? Holla? What? Three times? Wait, what? Wait. Tonight? What, what? I don't. I just got. What? 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 A review? Or else what? What the fuck? Actually, no, I gotta get the popcorn bucket. Hold on, I gotta get the stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just gave me... Yeah, they didn't give me a popcorn bucket. Probably was for the midnight people. I didn't... I, they probably had like a limited edition ones, because I wasn't the first one to be in the theater. Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> you know, you, your, your camera's not showing. The f what you say to me, you little- Oh my god. Yeah, it's like I an actual, you. like, ice cream bucket. <laughs> I hate you right now. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it's actually like a natural popcorn bucket. Wow. And then, and then I got, uh, my friend got this, actually. This Mario cup. Cinemark, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hello? my theater- My theater NCG did this. They also even- They also had a Nintendo Switch giveaway for the Mario- um, The Mario Day Switch. Oh yeah, they did have that. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yours did too? Yours did too? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they did- Yeah, they did that early. They did that super early. Like, before the movie- Like, they did that in, like, 11.30? before the movie was actually like put in the theater. So I was like, damn. So like, I think the first few people got that. So yeah, I'll so, just be yeah. here. I'll just be here. I'll just be here eating popcorn. Um, while we, uh, talk about the movie. <laughs> and also, sorry if my camera's crappy. Um, I need to have my other phone, which is AKA my actual green screen camera. Now before we I start we start any of this and while Hollow's looking up his stuff, whatever he needs to look up. <laughs> um this is a complete spoiler discussion. We're doing a spoiler discussion first, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is a complete spoiler discussion. So if you have not seen the Mario movie, click off this video right now. We are gonna literally talk about every single scene in the yes. movie, and it we're gonna be going through all the details, all the Easter eggs, all the music references, everything like that. And also if, if you haven't watched the Mario movie. Go see it now, or Luigi will come and haunt you in your dreams. He you have to get the you. you have to get the amiibo out, don't you? He yes, he will come at you, bro, and he will he will down taunt you when you're on an edge. Okay, just letting you know. 
I hope I actually edit that on the screen right now. <laughs> Just edit him doing that. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I am a huge Sonic fan. I'm not really into Mario. So this movie, for me, was decent. Although, for Hollow, that's another story. You want you want to give your overall thoughts real quick right now? You, you want the Super Mario Bro fan? Entirely, I thought this was a good movie for the average and hardcore and even like the most simple-minded mario fan i think mm -hmm. not every mario fan will love this movie even though if they don't discord i hate you the average like every single mario fan will get this movie even though if you don't uh see every reference you'll probably look it up later and you'll be like you'll remember it but uh Every Mario fan will love this movie. The average moviegoer, that's kind of a questionable thing. It's, trust me, not every movie is for everyone. That's pretty obvious. But this is a legit video game movie for for a specific amount of fans. It's not for everyone. So the average moviegoer, you're not going to get everything off the bat, obviously. Mm -hmm. But the general consensus of the en entire movie gave out my inner child. Yes. Um Holy crap. <laughs> I I went I got I went to see this movie three times today. Yeah, this guy went to see it at midnight, something in the morning, and then three in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. I I went to go I went to go see it in This man uh, is a superman. <laughs> a superman a super fan. No, super fan. Super fan. <laughs> went to go see the midnight showing with a bunch of mega super super big oh, yeah. Mario fans, a chat, bunch I, of them. I mean, chat, chat. I'm not live. I'm not live streaming. What? <laughs> um, um, I'm I am never lucky enough to get an uh, with an audience like that unless it's a Marvel movie in my area, which is sad. I was lucky enough to go to the midnight uh, screening because my parents don't allow me to go anywhere at that time anyway. What? Like, since You're an adult though. Yeah, but they were like, this since this is the Mario movie and you love Mario. Go see it, and you'll be back, right? And you're like, duh. Where else am I going? <laughs> mm -hmm. But, well, shoot, dude. The, We're not here the to talk theme, about your parents, though. We're here to talk about the movie. <laughs> the entire theater screamed when they heard the Charles Martinet cameo. The oh, yeah. Theater. Yo, I caught on to that. No, what? Uh, my, you know what my theater was filled of? What? A bunch of five-year-olds. A bunch of kids. dude yeah. mine was filled with like a bunch of five-year-old they had like kids they had grown there was there was literally a dude next to me guys i told connor this already there was a mm. dude next to me in this skin t he was buff and he had a skin tight t-shirt with the mario on it the mario <laughs> logo on it Bro. And he looked like The Rock. I'm dead yo, serious. The, he did look yo, like the Rock went to, the Mario Hollow platform. went to see the Mario movie with The Rock. Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, man. That would be... I was like, dude, you're awesome. And he, was like, <laughs> he, he, he was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then my, my overall thoughts. I mean, you guys know me. I'm a huge Sonic fan. I don't really get into Mario. Um, but... For me, from it was an okay experience. Uh, not okay. It was good. It was good. It was good. All right. I'm not gonna say it was okay. All right. The only the only complaint I have was the plot. But we're gonna get into that later. All right. We're gonna get into that later. But I mean, and do not and do not comment down below about me complaining about the plot. All right. I've already had Alex go on a tangent like, with me about that. Wait to put your comments in until you could until you actually hear my me explain. Okay. All right. But besides that. Bro, literally the the licensed music they got and the references literally took me back. It took me back. So like, bro, it was li the essence <laughs> exactly. It literally, it literally made me feel like I was in the '80s watching a movie through an NES. What? Yo. <laughs> not on a CRTV though. Not on a CRTV. Not on a CRT though. Put no, no. The, put in the cartridge through these. Through the SNES, man. <laughs> we were watching the 8-bit Mario movie. <laughs> no, but that's what it felt like. That's what. That's what. It gave me that vibes of like back in the day of the original Mario game, as we were, we mentioned earlier before recording this video. 
And that's exactly what I wanted this movie to give me. And it accomplished that. Along with the voice acting. The voice acting is a little bit there. But oh my gosh. Jack Black. My man. Dude. The part where he's, the part where he's saying. Oh my. That was funny. But also just so charming. It, that's just no, amazing. I, the thing is. I felt his emotion when he sang that. For real, yo, seriously, Jack, like, dude, Jack Black is a god. Yo, we better have a big, we better have the biggest funeral ever for him when he dies. We better play kung fu fighting when he dies at his funeral. Kung fu fighting and peaches. I even shouted several times. I even shouted several times during the movie that it's the Dragon Warrior. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it literally, it literally is. It literally is. It's literally a fire breathing dragon. <laughs> That is the real Dragon Warrior, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it all led up to this oh moment. God. The ending was not what I expected at all. In a way, but also a little bit... Felt a little rushed at the very, very end. Yeah. But the ending... The end is fine. The ending... The, like, the action at the very end and the scenes... Like, the like the scenes where I was wrapping it... Like, about to wrap it up... Uh, I, 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 it's kind of hard for me to explain, like, where it's at without really spoiling it yet. We're gonna get to the spoilers in just a moment, but the end fight scenes were just ah. More... <laughs> okay, listen. For, yeah. If you, anyone watched Sonic Movie One and your first time experiencing it, and you're just like, "This went by so fast. I want more. This was too short." That's literally what this movie was. Should we just dive in? Just dive in to the very beginning. I guess so. Uh, okay. Can we can we start from the very very beginning? Because uh, yeah, dude, the titles. I yeah, I want I want to talk about titles? that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to talk about that. Um, first off, the minion and the go kart, the the Gru go kart, th that's that very was... clever. And with the with the, illum with the illumination logos lining up for each, that was clever. Nintendo yeah. illumination, good job. That was clever. I like yes. that. Awesome attention to detail. Show to I thought it was gonna show Toad or something with the minion, but I was like, that's a good way to introduce the Mario. Yeah, that's good. That's it was something that there. even that self with introducing the movie was something that even like the simplest people who don't gain the gaming know. It, that's yeah. great. That's great. And then the I didn't. What was the Nintendo title's screen? The Nintendo, the Nintendo title was literally just Mario and Luigi, and I think Luigi jumped onto Mario just to hit the power, just to hit the mystery block, and then it sprouted out Nintendo. And I was like, yeah. okay, that's pretty cool. And then they just went into, and I think everybody knows this anyway, it's pretty obvious. It's from the first trailer, yeah. it starts we off... Jump. We jump straight. Yeah. It said even a Shigeru yeah. Mia Shigeru Miyamoto production. Yes, it said Shigeru Miyamoto and Chris uh, Melodondri production. I was like, so they really did collaborate. So it's not. That's a lot. good. That's good. That's good. So, I'm really I was glad. Like, Thank God, because they actually got Miyamoto's consensus. The thing is that kind of like it didn't disappoint me, but I was like, could they at least like uh, dedicate it to Satoru Iwata? They, they did the end credits. They did the end credits. They did? Yeah, they said former president CEO of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata. Oh, I didn't see that! They did! No! They did! It was so great. No! I'm like, oh my gosh, this movie gets extra bonus points for just doing that. No. That's awesome that Illumination did that. I'm that very happy they did that. Now. I saw it three times and I didn't you saw, even see You it. saw it three times and you uh, didn't even see it. Was right before, <laughs> it was right before the Bowser post credit, too. <laughs> Was it real? Yeah, it was. It was right before the Bowser post credit. I hate myself. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get him next time. Uh, if only I saw it bro. three times, I didn't even see it. Okay. But yeah, well, for those who have watched the very first actual anime teaser of the movie, we start off with that exact scene. So, unless you want to recap it real quick. <laughs> Bowser comes in, and by the way, this is... Very amazing. They start out with the airship theme from Mario 3. <gasps> yeah, no, okay, never mind. There, there's, there are some differences. We gotta talk about the music. The yeah. airship theme. <laughs> the music, listen, if you Bro, haven't seen this movie that yet, hit me actually, off, hold on. that hit everybody off. For every piece of music in that theater that I was in, everybody was like, <laughs> everybody was literally just gonna knock their freaking socks off. And I was like, dude, we haven't even hit the action moment. And the first, like, 20 seconds, we're already up out of our seats screaming. I just want to say, the licensed music they got for this movie is all from the 80s. 
and we noticed, and me and my buddies at the at the theater noticed this pattern halfway through it, and they're like, they're doing this because, and you know why they're doing that though, right? Yeah, it's because it's from the 80s. For Mario was from the 80s. Yeah, it's exactly. And, and exactly. the thing is with this, it's not overused, so it it's makes not. it work. Yes. The only thing, the majority of the music is literally Mario themed. If it's not Mario themed, it's like a random theme to just caress with the scene. But either way, it is Mario themed. When they put in the licensed music, it it works around with the uh, the image that the they just put on. Yeah, screen. they make it they make it seemingly work somehow with the environment yeah. and the situation they're in. So <laughs> so the opening scene. Listen, I'm just gonna show flashes of it real quick. All right, here's some flashes of the opening scene. Nintendo, if you take me down, I will go against you on YouTube. Then for those, if you got, now we're going into more stuff that we've already seen. So the Super Mario Bros. plumbing trailer. Now, I'm sure you all have seen this online. I'm sure everyone on the internet has seen this at this point. They showed it online, and there were some minor differences visually, but um, it was mostly the same thing. It, it was the same number, too, I think, right? Yeah, it was the same number. It was the same number website. That's awesome. Consistency. I like it. Yeah. And the thing <laughs> is, the, I think the, um, the, the thing is, when they do the, uh, the Mario Brothers trailer, the charlie day and chris pratt they speak like the game versions yeah exactly Mario charlie day and chris pratt are actually speaking and their then, it's and chris and pratt then, sounded yeah. good as that surprisingly yeah. and like I honestly thought, you know and the thing is when when people do a, Mar a mario interpretation it mostly sounds somewhat like charles martinet but you're not charles martinet because you know nobody can beat him anyway honestly because of how good it was I'm not trying to jump ahead. I question why they didn't do that like that. Do it like that for the rest of the movie. I feel like they 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 did do that attempt, but then they were like, let's change the script a little bit because I don't think people want to hear Yahoo for like an hour. And well, a they half. had to. Well, they had to change the script anyway because someone leaked it. Well, true, but like yeah. I'm just saying, like you know. That actually does make sense why this movie is kind of no this okay yeah bad. we're gonna yeah we're gonna jump into that it's just past the Sonic movie later. one it's just past the Sonic movie get, one yeah I'll get to that later but uh, and then after the Super Mario Bros plumbing trailer then we actually jump straight into the movie movie Mario and Luigi asked uh, themselves to be like uh, do like they were like you're great and you're like no you're great and like they have great brothers uh, chemistry they have great chemistry together yeah like just like from like the mario and luigi games and like from paper mario by the way matt pat suck it mario's not a bad brother suck it, <laughs> suck, it suck it matt pat oh my gosh and then uh, as they're walking out so they're in a cafe of something and they just watch their commercial on the tv which they have cheaply made uh, and they're actually in they're actually in punch out pizza Oh yeah, that was the right. I didn't know. I noticed. I didn't notice the punch out part until the final final yeah. battle scene, which I noticed yeah, was like, then, yo. Also, the the Charles Martinet cameo. The cameo, oh, yes. This now. right after, right after, because Mario said like, do you think the Italian accent was good? And then we hear a guy playing a punch out. It was a punch out a jump man machine. It was it was a jump man. It was, it was jump the man. machine was called jump man, and yeah. like Donkey Kong was like this white yeti thing. I didn't even see that. Yeah. I didn't even see what's on the screen. I just saw the guy turn around and just start speaking literally at Mario 64, Charles Martinet. I'm like, yeah, there he is. There's our man. There's my guy. Like, I was like, yo. <laughs> as soon as they see like Spike and Spike just tells them that they're they're nobodies. And since and, the, and I love Mario's little thing here where he's a more of a believer than just giving up. Everyone keeps telling Mario and Luigi that they're losers and that they're not going to get anywhere in life. They're, they're just going to be yeah. sitting here and uh, yeah. just, even, yeah, even their, even their family. Even their family. Like, it, like their dad, who is also played by Charles Martinet. Anyways, we go on throughout the 20 minutes. Um, Luigi and Mario fix, a short, long story short, Lu Luigi and Mario fail to fix someone's house because of a dog. Fix someone's drainage because of a dog. They did, uh, uh, were you going to mention uh, the room? Of Mario and Luigi. Yeah, I, 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 I okay. And when they were in that room, I was looking on the screen for Easter eggs, but I couldn't see. Any, oh no! Besides the NES, I saw the NES. That was the one Easter egg I, I saw. Kid Icarus. I was like, wow. Oh, he was. Yeah, he was playing. I kid couldn't recognize. Icarus. I couldn't recognize the game. Yeah, he was playing uh, uh, Kid Icarus. I was like, wow. That's the only movie appearance that Kid Icarus is gonna get until we get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And there was like a little Star Star Fox R wing on the on the top of the screen, and it was like hanging from like a thread or something. And I was like, Connor. Wait, so, so yeah, there was an R wing. I hate myself. Above, I hate there myself. Was, there was an R wing above the TV. I hate myself. I hate myself so bad, bro. Why did I not see the R wing, dude? I'm such a huge Star Fox fan. I'm disappointed in myself, bro. And then we go on, and then there's a new- Okay, th we're gonna talk about this part, because this part's actually crucial. And and imagine it's a character. Um, then- So, as Mario's playing down the NES and stop playing, there's a news report. And that Brooklyn is- is flooding. And we see Palutina- uh, Not Pal- I'm not a Nintendo fan. <laughs> Why?! <laughs> I, 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 you know, what's the, <laughs> I don't even know the name of the character. <laughs> the title of this video is about to be non-Nintendo fan reviews Mario movie. <laughs> you could tell I'm not a Nintendo fan. I'm, I'm a straight up just hardcore Sonic fan. <laughs> Listen, trust me, I played Mario in the past. I played Mario on the NES. I played Mario Odyssey. I played Mario 64. I played Mario Sunshine. I played Mario Galaxy. Trust me, I am a I am somewhat of a Nintendo fan. I like Zelda. Does that tell you something? <laughs> Let's continue before I get more off topic. Mario and Luigi go down to fix it. And then they go down a sewer. Uh, I go down a um a uh, manhole. And they find this yeah. these pipes. These like pipes yeah. and like this like bomb area. Yeah, they they go through and Mario tries to like get to the vault or the the air vault, the water vault. Yeah, the and water vault. When they try to, and and Mario does this daredevil thing where he's like pole climbing, and he's like this. Yep. And I'm like, I'm with Luigi. That's a hell no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> like. Yeah, but like, if I'm a plumber and there's like a bunch of stuff that you need to do, I'm getting a ladder. <laughs> Putting it across from there, then I'm going over there. I'm not doing this daredevil thing where you have to climb the pole. Speaking of and pole climbing, they do have some parts in the beginning of the 20 minutes where they actually are simulating actual Mario levels, but in Brooklyn. Oh, which yes. is really clever. They did a, yeah, they did the 1-1 reference when they yeah. were trying to get over there to their job. Uh, but, and there, um, are, there are level clear music, like, jingles as well. So, and the, and the score. So that is, that is clever cover touch and then anyways fast forwarding back to where we were sorry i just wanted to go back for a second um again this is gonna be out of place i do apologize my videos are never in order this is not a professional youtube channel don't expect professional content anyways um anyways they go down to this area which mario's like what is this place i'm like it shouldn't be anything suspicious until i see the green pipe that's just sitting right over there that luigi just disappears in that was a good transition, by the way. I was like, yeah, oh, that was. Just leave. And like, as soon as Mario got up to the screen, Luigi's just gone. I was yeah. like, oh, man, that's scary. Yeah. And well, you know, Mario steps in it. And we're in the warp scene. The warp scene. You guys have seen. It's the same exact warp giant scene that you see LSD, in the trailers. Giant LSD trip everything. Like, holy freaking crap. We went through this giant warp warp zone thing with all these connected pipes to wherever it's the same thing you see in the trailers too by the way in the middle of it mario just says hey man as long as we're okay to luigi and he says as long as we're okay we're gonna always be together and as soon as he says that they just um, rip away i didn't even catch on to that because it was all happening i didn't even catch on to that because that was all happening so fast I, I only watched this once hollow watched it three times so he was able to catch on to more of this stuff than i was but anyways Mario loses Luigi. Mario gets tra transported to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> and then we're at the scene from the very first street teaser where Mario is in the Mushroom Kingdom and talking to Toad. Texas. And thank gosh Mario didn't go, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Yeah, I think they wrote that line out entirely because that's gone. It sounded terrible anyways. I I'm sorry. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, and I don't, think, I don't think that would even fit the scene either because... He doesn't know what the Mushroom Kingdom is. Even Wait, he, Toad, tells, Toad tells him that when, when well, they're yeah, walking through the woods, though. So. Yeah, but the thing is, he wouldn't be excited to just be there. Because all he wanted to do was go back home. Yeah, he just wants to go find Princess Peach. The thing yeah. is, so after that, 
uh, we get a uh, basically a Luigi's Mansion segment. The dry uh, bones look really good during that that spooky yeah, scene. They, they actually looked pretty horrifying. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even like the dry bones coming out of the ground, I was like, was it zomb was it zombies, bro? Yeah, it's like yeah. I was like, I don't think dry bones have been this like freaking terrifying. <laughs> like, I mean, that's cool though. That's epic though. That is that was epic. <clears throat> and then as soon as luigi actually so that was actually bowser's castle and then the shy guys oh my gosh they look so yeah. creepishly cute bro i i heard one of them go like where from like the yeah look, the yeah me too yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then after this scene we go straight to the clip that you guys um may or may not have seen me react to during the game awards uh last year they actually showed the clip last year at the game awards um you know what? i'll just yeah. show a flashback right now flashback That's all I'm doing. He's gonna be fine. After that, we go into more stuff that's not been seen anywhere else. Mario goes up to the um castle doors. Toads are guarding it. So the blue toads, they're just they're just like they they they, they seem so menacing, like, but it's like you you can't you're so cute that you just can't do anything. Yeah, it's like the toads from Mario Galaxy. I was kinda looking at him, I'm like, guys, just because you hold spears does yeah. not mean I can kick you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> They, they poked so fun at their own game because they literally were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, you want to, yeah, are you going to go back and save a princess or a castle or something? It's like, yeah, yeah, they were like, yeah, the princess in a yes! castle. I was like, thank you. This is not the first, this is not the first time they've admitted that. Toad comes beh from behind. He's like, I got this. You just go behind there. And he starts cooking. He just starts, he starts this little, this little, um, portable grill and starts cooking for them. Yeah, it's like what? What? It's, like, so he literally was about to slap the freaking crap out of it with a frying pan. We just slaps yeah, the yeah. Uh, just this little grill, puts the frying pan on there, and they're all just sitting there, and they're just paying attention to Keegan Michael Key Toad. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, and I was just like, that's funny as hell, and that's crazy. yes, <laughs> yes, it but is. She, as Mario's making his way. To the throne room. We cut to the yeah. throne room, and That's they they the show the room. they show the map, the map that I yeah. shown you guys many times in my yes. and Toad videos. Bert from the Mario and Toad Luigi Bert. games makes an appearance. He he has this deep, great voice, and it's like all these council toads, and they said like Bowser is gonna Bowser is coming, he's coming to the Mushroom Kingdom. If he gets the invincibility star, we will die. Until yeah. Swam Princess Peach comes knocking down the door. I need to hear joy by the way. Awesome job as well. Honestly, uh, her. yeah, her delivery with her lines was so fantastic. It was so great. Honestly, I'm so glad they picked her for Princess Peach. She was, she was perfect. She was the perfect pick. Yes, she's um, amazing. She's also a badass. She's also sick. She's she's so yeah. awesome. She's someone, she's spectacular. For someone that has never done an animated movie in her life, she's amazing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, and, wow. Both for the character yeah. and the actor. <laughs> just said to everyone, I will head out for the Kong Kingdom in the morning. The Kong Kingdom, not Bo Wars. Because she's trying to get the convince the Kongs to team up with them, so they, we have like a strong army. Because obviously the Toads won't do anything about it. They actually cut out the line where uh, they actually cut out the line of uh, Toad saying that they, that they're just adorable. I was kind of like, no, Why? they didn't cut it out for me. Did they not? No, that was there for me. Maybe I just don't remember it, but you know. Must have come out the, last. The, the, thing, the movie goes by like a little bit too fast. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, the, the pacing for this movie is really bad. We'll yeah. get into that later, though. Um, we'll get into the pros and cons later, though. Mario so plunges cool. in. Love... Hey, you there? I need you to help me save my brother, or else. And he's like, I will do anything although i will say yeah, when mario and peach run into each other when mario and peach run into each other like mario's like and peach is like and then I'm as so she's cute. as she's and they're about as they're about to grab hands Freaking slams it onto the ground yo she yo she basically just says oh my god you're a human which actually yeah by yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they don't they they did not go into that as much as I wanted them to, so we can know where she came from, though. Cause I, I, I don't, know, I don't. But the thing is, the I know it's called the Mushroom Kingdom, and no humans are really around. 
We'll, we'll jump into that later. She goes into it more later. But Peach is like, all right, you want to come with me? Prove it. Prove that, prove that you can handle yeah. such dangerous feats. And so we go to this <laughs> Mario Maker. We go to this Mario Maker esque level yeah. place. <laughs> I was like, yeah. The, I was like looking through when Mario was failing. I was like, yeah, that's some BS. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, and then um, after and after Peach shows um, Mario the, the the flawless course that can easily be beaten by just one princess, aka Peach. But yeah, after Mar after Peach literally force feeds Mario this mushroom, literally. Of course, yeah, she goes like he gets down. The, she goes down the hatch. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then of course Mario becomes bigger, as as he would in the games, and then starts the course and I'm holding out, holding out for a hero. Starts playing, maybe, and I'm just, I was just, me and my friends were singing along to it. <laughs> we were the everybody, only ones in the theater singing that. Everybody in the theater I was in was singing that song. They didn't Dang care about it. the Bro, I need, bro. Next time that movie event like this happens, I'm going to I'm I'm we're meeting up. We're meeting up in person at your place. We're, we're go it's gonna happen. Everybody was singing. It, it, they didn't care about the licensed music. They everybody was singing it. We like we were like, I need to hear, and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> proud. I was like I was like, dude, this is like a football. It's like game. a concert. It's like a concert. Yeah. <laughs> um, except for video games. Um, so Mario continues to fail it. But on the one attempt, the one attempt that he gets it right, that scene was just so well done, animation-wise. Like, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why, there was just something about it that was like, yeah, this is Mario. This is 100% Mario. Mario. He's, he's learning these techniques around this. No, not even learning. It was just like, am I watching someone play a Mario game right now? Yeah. But with yeah, just like but, but but by hacking the game and just doing things that you wouldn't normally be able to do in the Mario game, <laughs> exactly. it's exactly what it Miyamoto like, envisioned it. Exactly, I think like there was like one point where it actually kind of did look like uh, Mario 3D Land, and yeah, it was mm -hmm. like, yeah, like it looked like from like the top point view where Mario was like going off those little um the little platforms that just lower when you touch on them. Uh -huh. When he was like running on them, it looked oh, like Mario. Oh, oh, I have to complain. The donut holes don't go away immediately. True. You have to stand yeah, on that, them for a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elimination, you said this movie is on point in details that fans will love and enjoy. Every detail, huh? I think, I think we'll they him. did that. In a, I think in Mario World, <laughs> they actually did a, just straight up disappear and go away. It's but, not uh, on point to how it is today. Yes. That's the point. <laughs> Mario. Modern Mario must continue on. <laughs> anyway, Mario finishes the course. Actually, just barely. A piranha plant bites him. True. But Peach gives him a pass. He accepts this because, uh, like, he was almost there to the flag. He was like, I think, it's an inch to the flag. And then the but he had to just look down at her, and he had to be like, give his man pose. Yeah, oh yeah, that was funny. He had to do that just to impress her. Just comes to show how they they might they might actually get married in the next movie. <laughs> Anyways, Mary we go back to Luigi. We go back to we go back to Luigi now, right? Yes. You do the Luigi scenes. You do the Luigi scenes. <laughs> what? Just because I love my green boy? Okay. Um, no, it's just because it's hard for me to remember those. <laughs> uh, so Luigi does get kidnapped. Wait a minute. What about the part where it plays the Bowser, the Fury Bowser song? Oh yeah, we did forget about that. Oh my god. How much? This is what we mean, chat. Let me chat. I'm not live again. No, this is what we mean. The pacing with this game, this movie is so bad that you forget parts. Yeah, you almost forget everything. So have you know? So listen. The reason this review is probably not doing good so so far is because we just got done watching it. And we, we still can't comprehend most of it. Even with Hollow watching it three times. The pacing is just so bad. It was so rushed. I feel like that's partially Nintendo's... Uh, I don't know if it was because Nintendo was rushing Illumination. I don't know if it was Comcast, a.k.a. Universal Studios. But rushing yeah, they, the, the animation they team. Cut a, they cut a scene with the... You know the Mario and the sucking fish where Peach has to save him from the, the cheap cheap sucking yeah. fish off? They cut that off. I now notice that. Like... I feel yeah, like Nintendo is. If Nintendo is gonna do stuff like this, they need to do it right because it, the movie was good, but it was so rushed that you can't even pay attention to what's happening. Yeah, 
Like, it's kind of like that. Yeah. But that scene alone with Bowser, we're gonna go jump into the Bowser. Yeah, let me go Bowser back a bit. Let me go back a bit. Fury Bowser theme plays. If you haven't played Mario 3D World on Switch, you don't know what this is. But if you've seen someone play Bowser's Fury on Switch, then you know the, the, the Fury Bowser theme. That when Fury Bowser comes out, the freaking like black pit oil thing, oil oil spill. Um, and then we, and then as that music plays, it's an orchestra reorchestrated version of it too. Which, if you don't know, I really love the Bowser, the Fury Bowser theme, and it's re they reorchestrated it for the movie, which is awesome. We see all the. The only thing about it is they don't add the choir be like ridiculously like, oh i didn't choir. notice yeah they and didn't, then they didn't choir but, but i think i think it was like the beginning of it so it and wasn't we zoom in we zoom in and the camera's um hovering over all the koopas and whatnot and then we see this group of koopas who look like they're from freaking aerosmith or something AC and ACDC AC just Koopas just <laughs> jamming out, being the vocals in the back, being the actual vocals for the Fury Bowser song. And it's like, it's like a, yeah, there's like a mohawk. There's like a, yeah, a mohawk a one. Mohawk and like, I can't again. I can't show it because Nintendo is gonna take down my video. But just you can imagine it though. Has like a leather jacket and like black makeup and everything. I was like, man, what is? What and then is Bowser show. On? And then Bowser shows up to showcase his greatest achievement, the Superstar. By the way, everybody thinking that that was like the Grand Star thing of like he was collecting Power Stars. The Superstar is an ability. It's not a, it's not a Power Star, which I thought it was going to be like that, but you know, it's, it's fine. Yeah. And then, um, as he goes on to say, he's going to try and... Use that, use that to try and threaten Peach into marrying Bowser. Seems like a, seems like a Mario Odyssey thing. Except Bowser is all sweet about that. We're gonna get back into that in just in just a bit. Oh my goodness, Jack Black, you're too good for this. <laughs> That's not a bad thing though. No. Um, he was like, yes, I'm going to marry her, and everybody was like, yay. And they're like, what? what? And like, what if she says no? Then we'll destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. And it was like, yeah. <laughs> I think he, I think he killed a Koopa actually, because he was. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. He, no, he turned him into a dry bone. He turned him into a dry bone. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was like, doesn't she hate you? And then he just mm -hmm. threw, he just spit fire at him, and he just looked like a dry bone. And I was like, oh, dang. We go back to Luigi now, right? Yes. You do the Luigi yeah. scenes. You do the Luigi scenes. <laughs> Oh, it's just because I love my green boy? Okay. Um, no, it's just because it's hard for me to remember those. <laughs> uh, so, Luigi does get kidnapped. And, uh, by the by shy this, guys. By this, <laughs> by, this, by this one snippet, who I swear to God is like the creepiest thing in this movie. He just has this glare that just stares at you. He's creepier Ooh. than the shy guys. Who? The snippet. Where's the snippet? The Sniffits are basically Shy Guys with like little things, like little cannon things that blow out little darts. Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those Sniffits. And he is creepy as frick. And he just brings Luigi with this rope that's tied around with his, uh, tied around with his hands. And this one Shy Guy, just this little tiny detailed Shy Guy, he was like, wow. And mm -hmm. he just basically tells him to get on the balloon, the little Shy Guy balloon. And, uh,. Luigi <gasps> has this no, I remember. Flashback, right? Yo, yeah, little, when I saw yo, Baby Luigi, Luigi and Baby Mario, I'm like, yes. I was like, yes. Thank you. I love this. I movie. didn't. Even, I didn't even care what was happening in that flashback. I honestly didn't care. I was just like, Baby was, Luigi, Baby Mario. It was basically Baby Mario and Baby Luigi just being connected and being there for each other. And I was yeah. like. Cause someone was bullying. Um, I think someone was bullying Luigi in that scene. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I shed a tear. Oh, yo, that's awesome. I shed a tear. You're, uh, you're more connected to this game. You're more connected to this game than I am. So it, it, rem it reminded me of my brother when he was still alive. So, oh, bro. Uh, I didn't think about that. Is, is I mean, it, I, it is I, I, I have kind of had that same experience too, actually. So, I never really thought about it in that moment, but... Huh. Even though it was like two seconds, I was like... 
<laughs> oh, we're not here to cry, man. We're here to watch them talk about the Mario movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Anyway, um, amazing. after the flashback, we go on to... Is it, are we back to Peach and Mario? Yes, we're back to Peach and Mario. And, and they're Mario, about to... this, this hit me actually a little bit hard because I was kind of like, are they not going into it? Because Peach was like... Uh, she she made this like little tiny speech going like we will stop Bowser and she and the one of the toads was like uh who is he and she was like oh my he is yeah he not, is not not important. important I was like Peach you know you're in this Mario movie right don't yeah. don't say he's not important and then literally the next scene as they're, they're about like, to as they're about to exit the Mushroom Kingdom Toad just Toad. pops on Peach has never seen him Pe I guess Toad's like an outsider in this movie. He's not really an outsider, but he's like, he's not like the other Toads that just aren't around or in the village because he's the only Toad that really goes outside. And she was like, a Toad brave enough to go on an adventure. Yeah, because he's like, so, I will be by your side at every moment. Bro, you will get drop kicked so fast that you won't even remember what happened next. <laughs> I'm surprised, I'm surprised Toad didn't kick any butt in this movie. <laughs> he just stood there. He did, and yeah. he was more like a guide, but, you know, like, he is in the game, so it was kind of nice. But and then they I go through these different like, segments and stuff. Bro, yeah. they actually walked through Fossil Fault. It's confirmed. That place where they were going through with the waterfalls, people were speculating yeah, that, that was a different place. No, it wasn't. I was right, boys. It was Fossil Falls. You suck. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't go. Don't hate me in the comments. Don't just like I was just kidding. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. No, it was just a joke. You don't, don't push that dislike button, please. Don't push the dislike button, please, 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 please. I'm just joking. Just a joke. We're all we're all good buddies here. I already pushed it. They continue the adventure, they go to these awesome sites, and then they do the do we go to another scene or do they do we go to the part where they're at the fire flower field? They basically do go to the fire flower, fire flower field. Yeah. And, and we and then we see them talking for a bit. If you wanna help me out with the dialogue here, I wanna pull out my phone again. But you can help me out if you want. Uh basically it's just uh We hear more Peach, we hear more about Peach talking about where she came from. This is important actually. Yeah, yeah, Mario asked. And then <laughs> she was just kinda like uh, and she just said, yeah, I don't really remember where I'm from. I just entered a pipe and they saw And we go to this flashback where we see the toads taking care of her. Yeah. Yeah, and this baby peach, basically. And No, baby peach. Yeah, that was good oh, to design, right. too, with the pacifier, too. That was a good yeah. attention to detail. She didn't know where she came from, entered the pipe, and the toads found her, like, right next to the pipe. And I was kind of, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, that was, I was like, this is a nice moment. And the, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> no, before the scene ends. For a scene end, we actually they zoom out the camera, right? And then we see Toad on the left. That that, that got me out of it. That that brought me out of the moment. That actually brought me out of the moment. The the moment that I was having with the characters on screen. He, he play, him just playing the flute and he just stops. Oh, that, that just broke. That broke yeah, the moment the, for me. Um, that was like the I think that was the flute from Mario three where you that was the warp whistle. Mm -hmm. Warp whistle. Yep. And then we and go then back we to go Luigi go. meeting Bowser. Oh no. Jack wait, Black. Wait. Yeah, Wait, no, it is. No, 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 no. First, it's no. First, it's the piano scene. Oh wait. The <gasps> yeah. The, okay. All right. Listen, Nintendo. Screw you. I'm playing this. And you know what? I will cut this. I will mute this. I will mute this if I have to. Uh, by the way, all right. So, if this part does get taken down by by Nintendo, I will sing cut it. this part out, and we will cut right now. I can sing it. All right, if this thing part didn't get taken down, that means uh, you're about to hear it. This one is from my one and only true love, Princess Peach. Peach, you're so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand. I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh yeah, peaches, peaches. And that was it. I, I, listen. I was cringing, but also just.
I love it when Jack Black sings. Jack Black has such a good singing voice. You would know from Psychonauts too if you guys heard his him, him sing the song from that. But, <laughs> anyway, um, Kamek has to interrupt this awesome next freaking K-pop song. He's saying, "Eh, I need to tell you about something. I need to tell you about something important." And so Bowser invites him to play upon the piano. Might I remind you they said Lu Lu Ludwig Ludwig P Koopa on the piano or something like that. <laughs> that that yeah. was funny. That was that was a cool easter egg too, Ludwig. And then yeah. cuz uh they had a I think it was in the, um I think it's in the Japanese uh version of Mario World where they actually say after when you defeat the Koopalings, it actually says where the Koopalings go after. So like I think Lemmy went to the circus, and then Ludwig actually went to pursue his career of actually doing music. With <sighs> oh, yo, and, yeah. There you go. And it, and it makes sense because his design is based off of Ludwig von Beethoven. So that makes yeah. entirely big sense. So Ludwig von Koopa, that's what it was, is what it said. Yeah. And yeah, so Kamek says, we have a prisoner for you. And then Luigi meets Bowser. Wait, um, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're the pa skipping, you're skipping. The Did I mention that the pacing yeah. in this movie is bad? It is. Yes. You uh, anyway, you, you 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 do you take but, over. <laughs> uh, so within that scene, when uh, Bowser, I thought this was gonna be the big jam out musical of Bowser actually having a villain song, but no. Because he played the little dunna 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 from the underground theme, and then oh I yeah, that's when they were talking. Out. That's while they were talking. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it was gonna break out to Bowser singing like a full metal song about like how much like power he has, but it was not nothing. when he's in love with the princess. <laughs> well, I thought that was gonna be in the middle of the song where he'd be like in love with the princess, and then he's saying how much power he has, but. It's nothing. You mean like but goes anyway. immediately from sweet and nice to immediately heavy metal and then back immediately to... <laughs> yeah, that's that type of thing. I thought okay. I was going to do that, which would nah. be fine. I think everybody needs that low thing and then the big, big power stuff and then the low mediums at the end. But are we, anyway... Are we back? back at, are we scene. now? Are we now at the Luigi meets Bowser part? Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh! I get... <laughs> <laughs> he tells... Kamek tells Bowser that there's the mustachioed uh, weirdo in the in the Mushroom Kingdom, and that Peach is helping him. And then Bowser literally is jealous. Oh wait! Oh, I see. Oh yeah. Okay. And fine. He's, and he's like, "Is she interested in mustachioed men?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Kamek was like, "I don't know, but look at you. You look pretty <laughs> dashing." Then we, you guys have seen this part. It's the same part you see in the trailers too. Where Luigi meets Bowser. They add a couple more lines of dialogue here. Should we really go over this part? What is your name? Luigi. <laughs> Alright, well, while Hall is doing his thing, um, I'll continue reviewing the movie. So, basically, Bowser Bowser says, not sure you know who I am, but I'm about to, about to marry, I'm about to rule the world and basically marry Princess Peach. And... Essentially, it's the same thing where Luigi's like, you're the Kanoa guy with, I don't know the exact dialogue, but essentially, essentially what's added to the scene is Bowser threatens to kill, um, Bowser threatens to kill Mario. Of course, we all know that doesn't happen. And um, Bowser just says, get out of my sight, sends, um, Luigi down to the chain, down to the prison, the hanging prison. I'm not sure what it is, but we see the penguins from the very first scene down there with them. There's also the same scene you guys have seen in the trailers as well. Um, Luigi. No, yeah, Luigi's trapped down there in the cells. The Luma. The cursed Luma. Which you guys have also seen in the trailers. Is down there. This Luma. Really made me and my buddies laugh in the theater. Like, honestly. The Luma was honestly one of the funniest parts of the movie. Oh, yeah. Then we go straight to the... the go straight to um, Con Kingdom. Con, Con Land. Con... Con City. Con... Topolis. What? DK Island. DK Island. DK Island. And um, th th there's so many parts while they're at DK Island that I love so much. Um, first off, they meet this. They greet. Go through the gates, and they see this. This. 
con. Sorry, just call it con. Five minutes later. Mm. So while we so while we were thinking on who came up to the gate, um, Hala got an upgrade. So um, yeah, that's gonna happen mid video. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, we as we were trying to figure out who came up to the gate, um, this this monkey, and a pullover, comes up. And it's talking like a con, right? And Mario's like, and my Peach is like, we're we're here to see Crank a Con, right? right yeah, we're here to see the king. And the, the, the guy's like, follow me. It's, it's just like, follow me. It's like, yeah. bro, like, what? what? That transition, <laughs> that that shift, the shift in his voice. It's like, <laughs> and then follow me. It's like, excuse me? Nope, okay, all of this is speaking fun. Seth Rogen to me right now. <laughs> I was like, bro, what? <laughs> is this Seth Rogen Island and not DK Island? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then another is 80s, 80s song, Take On Me by Aha. Um, starts playing. That was fitting. That was fitting. <laughs> okay, as of editing this video, I completely changed my stance on this. They should not have used Take On Me at all, and should have used the original track they had planned that Brian Taylor had composed for this scene, which I just listened to on Spotify, and now after the watching the movie for a second time, I can actually say that the, move, the score that Brian Taylor had planned for this scene is way better than having Take On Me in here. I'm sorry, but Elimination, Nintendo, you don goofed. Especially since the score for this scene is literally a reference to a Donkey Kong game. Missed opportunity. Continue. All the Again. 80s, all the choices for these licensed songs were so fitting for the environments. Again, were so fitting in the environments and situations that all these characters were in. Also, again, the whole theater jumped up and sang Take On Me. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro? Everybody, everybody was just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Everybody was so excited. I loved it. For all your great- uh, for all the best theater reactions, go to Hollow Gaming. <laughs> I wish I could have recorded my, uh, yeah. Even though it wasn't that big. I know, I know I someone would, who actually I does. Could. I know there is someone on the internet who actually does audience reactions. And if you record the oh, audio yeah. in the theater and you send it to him, he'll use it. You should have done that. What the heck, bro? Basically, this, the the con, the, the gorilla, and Mario, Peach, and Toad hop on this. We we go into this cool. This this is the first Mario Kart segment of the movie. We go into this awesome Mario Kart track course that loops all around um the D, the DK Heck, Kingdom. Maybe? It's like the DK mindset, but I wish they were in minecarts instead of cars. Yeah, yeah so it was just was a full yeah. on, and we actually got to see a few power ups too as well. It was like a banana, a turtle shell, I believe, or banana. Mind you, there was no super, there was no mushroom power up for Mario Kart, and I'm like, uh, hello. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. That you were, you could, we'll, we'll, we'll get into where they could have easily slid in later, but um, this it was a really cool way to introduce the Mario Kart segment, especially with the music. That, that somehow they make this all seem so fitting. Yeah, it actually like throughout like other. Even other though the days, pacing, even though the pacing is bad, I'll give it to them that they know what fits well and they know what works. Yeah, and there's not many of them either. There's like yeah. at least three, and I was like, I'm glad they did that, so it's not crediting the whole movie, you know? Exactly. But it was and it then, was good. I love how they did that. And they crash straight into Cranky Khan's palace, and they talk to Cranky Khan. I did not expect Cranky Khan to literally look like a guru. Excuse me. <laughs> Dress up like a guru. <laughs> and yeah. Peach is, and then Peach is like, "Hey, can I borrow your army for like a couple of days and whatnot?" And Cranky Khan's like, "Sure, but um, you gotta fight my 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 man child first. My son, yes. And my son. And uh." My and then Peach is like, Peach is like, Mario's like, I'll do it. And then Peach is like, Are you crazy? He's like, No, I'm gonna do it. You, and you can't, since you... Mario is a loyal brother, Matt Pat, he will do anything for his brother. This movie is canon, by the way. It's literally made by Nintendo too, so it's canon. Okay. <laughs> we'll get into that. We can go into a whole discussion of that later. Made by Nintendo is canon. So after that, after they make an agreement. Mario's gonna fight to try and win over the the DK army. We transition tra transition over to the Smash clip, which is on YouTube. You guys can look it up. I'm not gonna show it though because Nintendo's gonna freaking kill me. Um, and then 
I tried to notice anyone else in the audience, but I didn't notice anyone specific. Um, besides the one they actually point out later on. And so, Cranky Kong let the match begin, whatever, and then Donkey Kong, Seth Rogen comes yell going out. Can I just say, oh, let me rephrase that. Donkey Kong comes bashing out of the doors and comes green, making his, he makes his grand entrance, essentially. He makes his grand entrance. And he starts talking. I've not heard, I've not heard DK's voice yet at this point. And now after hearing it. Oh, because you didn't look at the, uh, you didn't see the. I didn't, I, I, I avoid the smash clip completely. Yeah, you avoided the, yeah, you avoided the, um. Uh, so Cat all that Mario's was by Cat surprise. Cat. Yeah. I yeah, jumped yeah, yeah, when yeah. I saw Cat Mario. So just want to clarify, like I was really excited yeah. for that. Yes. And then, Seth Rogen, who asked you to be DK? They called him. Elimination. Yeah, they I called feel... him. Back. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who specific. He said, he just said they. I don't know if it was Nintendo. Illumination. Illumination. Whoever. Uh, Nintendo or Illumination, whoever I, at I your like at your whoever at, whoever at your studio is trying to find cast members, can you fire them? Don't go on a rant, Connor, please. I'm not I gonna will go on a rant. Say, That's though, all. I'm just gonna leave it at that. From my point of view, if we had a tier list of every voice actor on this uh on this list, moving, yeah, I'm from, from this movie. Donkey Kong would be the lowest. Yes, I would say that. I'm not gonna say specifically what tier he would be in, but he would be the lowest. And I, I just for whatever reason, and I, I, I should have saw this coming because, and, and to those people that literally said Chris Pratt is not good as Mario, he's just doing his voice. Chris Pratt in this movie is at least good at enough to the point where you can forgive him. All right. Like you can get how, actually. How I got lost in his voice. I got voice. lost in his voice, and I just I was yeah. I felt like I was Mario talking. Yeah, many people didn't even give a crap, so I don't understand why people were like hating on him. And I understand Mario is the centric main character of the entire movie, and I get why people were upset. But I don't understand why you would be upset at the actor entirely just because he's trying to find a fit voice, and no one really can because Charles Martinet is mario and he's been mario for over 30 years D and dk's never no had a voice so this one's this. you yeah. might be saying oh what about dk then well dk's never had a voice so this is a, this is there's, there's no excuse here there's no excuse and here even if you were to do dk's voice you would be doing the same thing as the japanese actors because the majority of the japanese cast for every other mario character except for mario luigi peach and bowser everybody else is japanese except for the koopalings and that's an exception but everybody else in the Mario, in the thing for Mario is Japanese. Donkey Kong shows his pecs. Basically, the the match begins. Mario gets beat. I don't know. Before that, we see Diddy Kong in the audience. As Cranky Kong tries to sell down the audience. And then Cranky Kong in the audience. Uh, not Cranky Kong. Diddy Kong in the audience. Like, bro, I don't know. There was something about Diddy Kong's outfit that didn't really go with me. Where was his Nintendo hat? I think but besides that, he was great. Besides that, he was great. His, that came in was awesome. I, mean, I, I like mean, the voice too. I like the voice like, actor too. Even in like the old DKC games, he didn't even have his Nintendo hat until after DKC trilogy. So yeah, I mean, I, guess, I also I did like his voice actor though. His voice actor was good. I don't even know though, who that was. He sounded familiar though. Then the match begins. So Mario gets beaten half to death, and then basically in the in, uh, during yeah. the fight. As he's being beaten half to death, he's trying to get all these lucky blocks. Yes, the Cranky Con did place lucky blocks, and in these lucky blocks, listen, this is part. This is part of the um, tangent we're gonna go on later. Part of the theories we're gonna go on to later in the end of this video. Mario is hitting all these lucky blocks. The first lucky block he hits is a mushroom, but it's the fake mushroom from Smash Brothers, which made me. It's no, gonna. It's it's, yeah, it is. It's the mini mushroom from New Super Mario Brothers. We, oh, bro, and I'm, gonna, I'm pulling up my clips right now. I'm, I'm the mini mushroom, bro. It's the blue oh. mini mushroom. No, dude, it's the reverse. It's the it's the fake mushroom from Smash. It's the blue mini mushroom. Comment section, which one is it? Is it the what mushroom the from? Mini mushroom. Is it the mini? Is it the mini mushroom from what game is it? I, I don't Mario. even know. 
is it is it the mini mushroom from New Super Mario Brothers or is it the um the uh, fake mushroom from Smash Brothers? Let me know in the comments below. Blue mini mushroom. Everybody's gonna hit you down and correct you. And with that, I regret my decisions. <laughs> anyway, um, he's grabbing all these these power up boxes and they're all fakes. They're all like they're all duped. They're all just sabotaged oh, and booby trapped. Oh, by the way, yo, when he brings up the fire flower, DK is right behind him and he just. I'm like, you can do that. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, so that basically means the fire flower is literally made of, out of fire. Literally. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> and then there's one more lucky block. And it's the only one that actually has a good power up in it. And it's the cat power up, which you probably already all know. So I'm gonna, probably going to skip through a little bit of this. Mario gets the cat power up. And he scratches. He is, like, oh. he is, he is the flash. No way. I was no, like, this is not game accurate. In 3D world. This is not, this is not game accurate. Again, I was like, you can't elimination. Do that in 3D world. No elimination. World. I love how creative you're getting with this game. But if you're going to be game accurate, be game accurate, damn it. Just made it. Dude, it's a movie. <laughs> I, I don't care. Made by I Nintendo, mean, my I mean, I mean, even at that point, Mario would be a. Uh, they just made Mario be Spider Man in that in that Cat Mario costume. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I never thought about that. That's actually kind of cool. And so after that, Mario takes down DK. DK is completely drunk. Looks like acts like he's completely drunk afterwards. At least acts <laughs> like it to me. And then after that, Pika Con's I mean, like, it's fine. It's fitting, I'll help Seth you. Seth Rogen. It's Seth Rogen. It fits. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. After that, we transition. Straight to the garage, boy, and the music that plays in the cart garage. Wait, is it, it goes straight to that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the music. Did you hear the music in that part? Yes. I it why was. are you not to... Bro, it's the it's the cart oh select God. scene from Mario Kart 8, my guy. And it's re and when it's orchestrated, it sounds so... Fr I'm oh, pulling up Spotify. Oh, I'm, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's epic. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Great job person who did the ost i'm so dumb put connor put the thing put the text on there who did it they pick their carts they go to the cart selection part and it's actually like the actual cart like they actually use like these slot things that are actually the yeah. cart selecting selection thing which is awesome and then more 80s music more licensed music thunderstruck plays thunderstruck. mario gets his mario gets it, bro me and my buddies were just yeah <laughs> yo like it, seriously, that that song is a bop. Our theater but, wasn't like that high for Thunderstruck. Yo, our it theater, was, like it the adults in the adults in my theater were like, oh yeah, they were like da 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 da. da. They were saying along to it. Everybody was like that high for Thunderstruck. I think like I saw some people do that. They were like pretty bopping to it, but it was not everybody was on there. I mean, Mar so Mario gets his standard cart. I'm sure you guys have seen the carts that he gets. He gets a standard yeah. cart. And then Peach uses the standard cart as well. Toad, I think Toad has his, it's kind of basically an original cart. That's one of his parts from, I think, the Wii. Yeah, that's, yeah I think that's from, and there was something familiar yeah. about it. I knew it was from the, I knew and, it was from one of the games. Little, and his little, his little honk honk is actually when uh, you honk your horn in the game. So, and in Mario Kart 8? Yeah, and like Mario Kart 8. Yeah, I knew, I knew that vehicle was familiar. I knew it was from a game. I knew it wasn't wrong. Okay. And then DK has his own custom, actual, originally designed cart, which yeah. looks super awesome and comes to handy a lot later on in the film. Go across the, this launch pad thing, go up this ginormous ramp, which I'm surprised they didn't use a super mushroom for. Honestly, gold mushroom, bro, honestly, they could have used the golden mushroom. The gold mushroom, it was there. It, it, speed boost. It, it, but anyways, yeah. they go off the ramp, land onto Rainbow Road, and then we go into our next big action scene, which I feel like is one of the big highlights of this film, actually. In my and, honest uh, opinion. Before they, <laughs> before they, like, I mean, they, they go on Rainbow Road, and then Peach, like, asks um, Mario, and be like, is it, well, it, like, is it like this in your world? And he was like, mm. no, we don't drive on rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, the and turtles try like, and kill you? Yeah, you like next thing you know, you're just gonna say that turtles don't kill you. No, yeah, they actually don't. They're, you can use them as pets. You can have them as pets. pets. <laughs> and um, then uh, DK pokes fun at him. Yeah, for, for flirting with Peach. 
it's bro, it's just talking. He's just talking. Really yeah, and then we cut talking. to cut to Bowser getting prepared um, for his wedding. He's not in full uh, Mario Odyssey suit yet. But he has yo, his he has a hat. He has a hat. And he's and like he was, Peach. Will you marry me? To Kamek. <laughs> who has the peak? Who, by the way, to many of us new Super Mario Brothers fans out there, with uh, Kamek having the peach gown on and the little princess thing with the with the princess peach wig and, and lipstick and lipstick. I was like, and they oh, were about and they I were about to kiss when they were about just about to kiss. I was like, oh my! <laughs> I was I yeah, almost broke show, out. Blue show can't. Blue Shell Captain came in there. He was like, "Oh yeah!" Sir. And they were like, "What?" <laughs> they turned next. They were both white. Like Amic was pissed too. I'm like, like, "What did he ever do to you?" Kamek was like, "What do you want?" <laughs> I was like, Kamek, it's like, chill, it's like Kamek is Bowser's right hand man. He he's basically his father. So yeah, Bowser Jr. You're hurt, man. <laughs> oh man. You're left. You're left at the orphanage, my guy. Anyway, <laughs> Bowser is Bowser Jr. To Kamek. Oh yeah, and so anyway, um, we go back to the actual fight scene now, right? The action scene. Yeah, and uh, uh, they we go get into this. Back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do this entire scene so you can go through it fast? I don't want to do the entire scene. I'm gonna give you half of it. I'm gonna get to the action. I'm gonna get to the action, and then you. Can you start off for me so I can? Action. Can you start off for me so I, my memory can can jog my my memory? Yeah. So, okay. Basically, Bowser just Bowser is notified by the Blue Shell Captain to tell uh, from everyone. He's like, because uh, the Blue Shell Captain says, "So yeah, they're trying to trick you by heading off on the other direction. They're heading off on Rainbow Road." I'm like, oh, you think they can trick me? Okay, let's do a strategy. You thing. wouldn't have been tricked if it wasn't for you. <laughs> if it wasn't Bro. for Blue Shell. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then they had a uh, then all these Koopas had their own carts. When uh, everybody was oh, driving yeah. Rainbow mm -hmm. Road down, down the cons, everybody, all these Koopas with these carts, they all came down. And they were like attack, and everybody was like swoop shopping their shells around and everything and hitting every and so, song everywhere. This is where the main action and happens. All this was amazing. Place. Yeah, this was so amazing. So I'm gonna cut back to you. Give the rest yeah. of the and so base uh, the rest of the scene. Oh gosh, you're gonna have to help me out with the ending though. Actually, no, the ending I can do. It's just the, throughout it. Yeah, Mario. We cut back and forth between Mario. Basically, we're focused on Mario most of the time, driving his cart, <clears throat> using his his abilities and whatnot, and knocking all these Koopas out of the way. And then he's he's starting to get overrun, right? And then of course we see in the trailers where um he's basically about to get overrun by a Koopa, and Koopa basically destroys his car. Actually, no, it was the zero gravity first, right? Yeah, it was the zero gravity. Yeah, anyway, the zero gravity wheels. I was like, heck yeah, let's go. I did. I wanted to make sure that we're gonna have zero gravity wheels because if they didn't, I was gonna. Mm -mm. I saw I'll, in the yeah in the DK in the DK garage they actually tested out the zero gravity. Yeah, yeah it looks that. really good too. And so then, Mario's Mario's not out yet. He's not out out of his cart yet. But 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 he's driving. He's taking out Koopas. Mario lands on a Koopa cart. Obviously, stomps on them. Takes out his cart, and then grabs the Koopa shell from the Koopa. The Koopa is still alive in the shell, by the way. So literally, Mario oh, yeah. killed. So instead of Mario making a Koopa disappear out of existence, he actually kills a Koopa. So um, yeah, that happens. He uses the green Koopa, turns the Koopa into a green shell, tosses it to the cart behind him, and then after that, do we get to the uh, blue blue shell captain? Yeah, blue shell. Uh, yeah, blue shell Cap captain. Blue shell just comes out with this. Freaking Mad Max tank thing. I'm like, oh my god. Is this, this a blue kid? shell? But don't like, worry, there is a blue shell, but we'll get into it in this in a second. I was, like, I was like, are you sure Blue Shell doesn't want to kill Mario instead of Bowser? Because mm -hmm. this dude really just hates him for whatever reason. Like, he wants yeah. to murder Mario. There's like, no reason. For no reason at all. He just hates him. I'm like why do you hate him? Yo, what, Mark, what, what, did do, like, what, what did he do to you, man? <laughs> was he your pet blue shell turtle? Like, what happened? <laughs> My God. What happened? <laughs> anyway, and then, so Mario's trying to fight back. Um, I don't know exactly what happens, but eventually, I don't know if anything happens in between. 
There's a bunch of action in this scene, by the way, so. Like, he tries to crush him with his little girth things, and he has the spike things, and he crushed his cart, but Mario is on the other side of it, and he thinks mm. he's dead. He thinks he's dead. He thought he killed him. Yeah, and he crushed the Koopa so, cart, and then Mario's behind yeah, he him. he crushed the Koopa cart. And then DK finally comes out of freaking nowhere. And, <laughs> and actually, actually hits, wants to help. I'm like, dude, where were you this whole entire time? Probably Peach kicks him ass. Showing off. Toad kicks him ass. Like, showing off just happened? showing off them gains to his brothers yeah. i'm like dude what are you doing comes out of nowhere and hits shoots the... a banana oh shoots a banana yeah. thing right oh yeah, yeah hits dk dk's banana barrels like the dk d cart dk carts actually shoot barrel bananas out banana peels out of the carts yeah. i'm hoping nintendo could you add mario movie mario kart dlc please <laughs> add the add that staking uh, actually no actually no you know that, that, how that barrel OP, you know how OP. <laughs> <laughs> I just nobody would play I just, Mario Kart anymore. <laughs> I just realized that. Make it only available local multiplayer. Just make it available local multiplayer. No online. Just ban it from online. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, it's not. that easy. It's that easy. He's like, you know, OP. That that would be more OP than the Blue Show itself. Like, <laughs> you'd be in like twelfth before you even cross the finish line. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Mario, DK saves Mario, takes out the blue captain, but then the blue shell comes out. Then, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so it then the blue, was. the captain turns into a blue shell, right? And he is so pissed off. Like he. Yeah. The Mario, the blue wrong, captain. Like, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Like. Like so you, the blue did captain. You take your did you take your your Goomba meds this morning? Your Goomba meds. Like, like did you take your Goomba meds this morning, bro? Your gumeds, like, did you take them? Because you clearly did not. Because you're <laughs> clearly just randomly mad at this plumber for doing nothing to you, like at all. <laughs> and then basically, blue blue captain turns into a blue shell, sacrifices himself, actually creates an actual oh, yeah. like blue shell explosion. You don't see him again after that point. Yeah. So he's basically dead. <laughs> he, he kamikaze. He kamikaze. <laughs> For the greater he, good. No, he SD'd. He SD'd. He did SD <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> and it basically it creates like this big shock wave. Like, bro, was that that much power under his shell? <laughs> like, I don't think that explosion is that big even to destroy Rainbow and it Road. Broke, and it broke the Rainbow Road. Yeah, it broke the Rainbow Road. Like what? That was uh, ridiculous. I, I was like, whoa. I'm geez. curious as to if that okay. is actually canon. To Mario Kart, but I don't know. But, but no, and basically... no, no Rainbow Road has ever been broken like that. <clears throat> None of them. So this is the first time they actually broke the Rainbow Road. Is actually that... it is actually a rainbow. P Princess Peach and Toad drive over the gap in the Rainbow Road, but Mario and Donkey Kong are down the ocean. They aren't dead, but Princess yeah. but Princess Peach and Toad think they're dead. And so Peach is like, we need to regroup. <laughs> and unfortunately, oh yeah, and then. Before that, Bowser takes prisoner of the cons, unfortunately. And it's a pretty sad moment. And then, oh, uh, like, yeah, and, they oh yeah, and they're, and they're in Koopa cars. Really the Koopa copters, yeah, the Koopa copters. That's awesome. I love that. Bowser basically traps them right then and there. I am Bowser. Wait, no, not yet. No, no, no. They actually go back. They actually, no. Chat again. I'm chat. Well, before that, well, they, we see Donkey Kong and uh, Mario go into the, the lake. I'm gonna add a rate. I'm gonna add a chat counter every time I say chat. Counting this right yes. now. <laughs> Peach and Toad are able to are we're able to escape back to the Mushroom Kingdom, but before we can get to them going back to the Mushroom Kingdom, we see Mario and Donkey Kong <laughs> in the ocean. And I didn't notice this yet. But I noticed shortly after, um after Mario and Donkey Kong escaped from this creature that they're just chilling there in the ocean and um you know the talking N it out what, the, what, the and N64 then the n64 eel? eel i didn't notice it until it like, like oh afterwards my God. i was like i was like i recognize those teeth <laughs> yeah it was the my buddies recognized it almost immediately i'm like oh my god yes <laughs> and so after mario and donkey kong get eaten by it we go back to the mushroom kingdom now right yeah yeah, but now, now Peach and Toad are going to warn all the Toads. They're evacuating, and just before they can even get out there on time... Actually, no, they get out on time. 
Yeah, they get out there on time for those little stubby Kirby legs yeah, that they have. For, yeah, for all for all the toads. But yeah. Mar Peach and actual toad stay to fight, and it's like, toad, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, my guy. <laughs> and so, Peach and toad, Peach look in her badass biker cut, biker outfit, standing yeah. there w over Bowser's floating I island's presence, and he lands. <clears throat> Let us rule to the world together. Will you marry me? That actually kind of did something. Are you like crazy? Is, uh, and Peach absolutely denied. Just Dude, denied. Like, are you crazy? Like, I was just kind of like, Peach, I understand that there's a lot of creatures in this world, but give him at least a little bit of a chance. I'd rather and marry Bowser than a freaking, like, one of the Kongs. I'm just, I'm just and saying. Then, like, and then, without hesitation, Bowser basically t basically c convinces her to marry him after literally almost choking toad to death oh yeah i was like he just basically looks like kamek and kamek already knows what to do just and then he's like basically getting like crunched he, or something it's it's literally like the it's like literally the when crackle. it's literally when the dark side uses the force on a human Dude, and they like, yeah literally <laughs> <laughs> it's literally that and the thing is Oh, we, like you could hear the little crackle in like Toad's bones, or I was yeah, like, oh, literally. Man. I was like, okay, movie, like we're and going a Peach, little bit over the edge here. And then Peach is like, okay, I'll marry you. And then after that, they Peach boards onto Bowser Bowser's floating island, floating fortress, which my, my mind is one of the kingdoms on the map. It just moves wherever it wants to. Yeah, it does. And then after that, we transition back to the eel, where we see bloopers. Freaking cute bloopers yes, that are animated say, so well. For, for the most annoying goddamn things in Mario water levels, <laughs> they were kind of cute. They, dude, lie. they were animated so well. That was my favorite part they, of the animation. They literally. Were, they looked, their eyes were so expressive. I was like, they were like, literally. <laughs> it's like yeah, amazing. I, I, Best I hate part. them with a passion whenever I see them in a 2D Mario. <laughs> Every time they follow you, I'm like, get away from me. You're like Lakitu if he was underwater. Like, dude. Yeah, and uh, then we go, and then we see it get eaten up by the ve the eel, and then we go to Donkey Kong and Mario in, in the eel, and its stomach, about to get digested, complaining, saying, this is your fault. No, this is your fault. Then look, and then, out of nowhere, they look at the barrel, and they're like, and they just, they just go with it. It's like, I, what happened? Yeah, and then, then, and then, and out of nowhere, they transitioned straight to them going out of the eel. Listen, I would, that they, part, this is a big that, complaint. That's, that's the thing. They don't give the moment to breathe. Like, okay, I was going to say this later on when we get, like, after we're done with, like, reviewing the movie. But early on, like, when Mario and Luigi get back home with all the family and everything, and Mario gets obviously disappointed because his father, the one he looks up to, it just tells him, like, you shouldn't quit this steady job and basically tells him that he's a loser. Mario goes up to his room. Luigi is with him. And they don't give the moment to breathe because they straight up just go like, oh, yeah, Brooklyn is flooding. Boom. Mushroom Kingdom. This is the and problem. Like, oh my I, God. See where me and, I see where Miyamoto was going, but, like, bro, in a movie, you got to give that moment. You got to allow the we, moment. You need to allow the audience to connect with the characters, yes. to connect with the... Th that's why I felt also felt that's why it all for me that's also another reason why it felt like there was no plot like yeah, there was no feel, yeah I, I know this is a movie and you want to get to things quickly because you have a certain amount of time to really interest everyone around even in audience, Just do two even hours if, yes even if it was two hours I wouldn't even mind because yeah literally I don't think I kids would even mind Mario stories <laughs> kids I wouldn't even mind to death and Kids I sat down the in the way... theater for Sonic Movie 2 for two hours. Like, literally. Yes. every Everybody loved... Uh, and the thing is, when people said to me, were like, hey, man, they're not going to do a story for Mario movie. And I thought so, too. Because why would they? They're going to just adapt it. And yeah. I was just going to be like, it's going to be good, but there's not going to be a really that much of a point. There's going to be, like, in point A, then they need to go to point B, and once we're at point B... We're just gonna move. We're just gonna have another point A to go to another point B. There's not gonna be like a little system to really connect with anything. And even if we do connect with anything, we're not gonna focus on it. 
We're not going to have like a little magnifying glass. We're going to have to have a magnifying glass and look at the tiniest bit of detail of a shed of a and tear. I, and I may be wrong. Miyamoto may not have played any part in the writing, but whoever did it, I'm sorry, at Illumination, uh, they needed a lot more work. Have, one of the directors actually, uh, the <clears throat> Michael Jelinek guy, uh, the guy with the Jared Leto hair, he has never directed a movie in his life. Yeah, and uh, also one of the... Uh, Alright, now I want to say that. Okay. Other... No, 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 we gotta say that for the very end. We have to. Because I will, I'm gonna go on a tangent for that, okay. actually. Okay. All right, I'll, 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 okay. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Somehow, Mario and DK get over it. Oh, everything's good now. Shoots out of the eel with the the, the freaking barrel. Jetpacks out of it. But then one of the Koopas and the and Bowser's Floating Island notice them. Shoots down the barrel. And then Mario and DK are back in the Mushroom Kingdom, where it's all abandoned. Last of Us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Except <yeah>. no zombies. <laughs> yeah. No but way. um. And so then they just go fight their way to the to the floating island. And so they we have this another cool action sequence where there's an awesome awesome bunch of music references to the games. Love it, love to see yes. it. And then and then we see Tunuki Mario, Tunuki Mario. Awesome. I, I actually know I know what that one is now. <laughs> <laughs> Tunuki Mario. If I you call saw it my Raccoon Mario, Tunuki Mario, is the same thing. Uh, many yeah. people do the same thing. Even in like the. I think even in Mario Land, uh, Mario 3D Land, they called him to, uh, Raku Mario. So, yeah, I don't think it really matters. You know, what's, you know what's also iconic about our review so far is that we've been rushing it just like the movie. <laughs> isn't that iconic? Isn't that iconic? Well, I want to get my like thoughts on the other stuff, too, because I'm like, I have a, like the, the yeah. smallest bit of tidbits, but still. Yeah, but, uh, but um, anyway, um, we then we cut to the, 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 wedding. the wedding, the wedding, right? And yeah, then the we see my friends jumped up when they saw King Boo in the King in the pews. Yeah, King Bob. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah the, he was like, oh yes. God. I was like, hey, yeah, we got no. we got a Luigi's Mansion guy over here. Oh my God! I was like, yes. <laughs> and uh, oh my God! And Everybody then we see Bow like, and Bowser in his Mario Odyssey wedding outfit. Yes, you love to see it. He was just like, he was just like, hmm. it's just. <laughs> <laughs> And then Peach, I think Peach was in her. Was she in her wedding outfit for Mario Odyssey? Also, yeah, she was in her wedding just without the. Odyssey. It's yeah. hard to recognize without the eyes on the tiara. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then Toad. Uh, originally, I thought Toad was uh, like Toad seemed happy about the wedding for some reason, but I could see why now after seeing well, how I, mad. I looked. I kind of looked at that. I was like, they have a power up in the goddamn bouquet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so like, they go oh, to the wedding. What? I thought it was gonna be fire peach, but then they pulled out ice peach. I was like, yes. and as wedding, as Peach is walking towards Bowser, we see that you know the prison cells with Luigi, the penguins, and the the yeah. that Luma, who's like, ah, oh, nothing but like, the sweet thing of death. Oh yeah, and uh, oh yeah, we did kind of skip a scene, but it didn't really matter because Bowser kind of did read you guys you guys have seen, you guys seen the luma in the trailers all right it's fair yeah, enough the bowser bowser kind of reset it though he just said to uh hammock basically said to everyone you don't deserve it but you're invited to the wedding and we're all sacrificing you and everybody and bowser uh, bowser said to peach later on in the wedding when he stood up there next to her he was we like will sacrifice these in your them, honor in your honor yeah <laughs> And they start like, to be lowered as they're doing as they're doing the vows. As like, Kamek is doing the vows. Try harder, man. It's not working. And she was like, "You actually think I'd marry you?" And I'm like, "Peach, play it along a little bit longer, because there is no because they're gonna. She, she's, he was still gonna kill him anyway. True, but I so she stopped it from happening. Yeah, true." But I was and sorry, so she takes out the longer because I wanted she, to like feel something because that was not. Oh my nothing. gosh! Take out the but she takes out the bouquet, ice flower power up, ice power li Elsa. It's literally Elsa. Okay, not entirely. No, it is Elsa. Well, my buddies just no, said, "Yo, that's Elsa." Elsa can literally, <laughs> Elsa can literally just spawn like frost. Anyway, um, Elsa. I mean, Elsa. Peach! <laughs> no, you need to call on Peach. <laughs> Peach, Peach goes off to freeze the um, chain from dropping um, Luigi and all the other prisoners into the lava. And she goes off to basically completely freeze Bowser as well. And then 
Tanuki Mario comes in to save the day right before... No, okay. I need you to help me out here. Help me out here. Because it was right at the point where she froze Bowser. Well, she froze Bowser. And then... Uh, then it cuts to... Ba uh, Donkey Kong and Mario... Uh, well, you forgot Fire DK. I did... But I did not see Fire DK. You, you didn't? What? I saw I mean, in the trailers, was, though. I saw in the trailers, brief. though. It was brief. It was brief. So I'm not gonna, you know, because I, I didn't see. I saw like in the trailers, though. Long. I already saw it in the trailers, though. Yeah, Fire it's DK. About the same length. Of I'm not gonna trailer. lie, though. Yeah. I already saw it, and Fire DK is ugly. What? Dang. Yeah, it, it's okay. ugly. I'm sorry. It's just red DK with like white on his hand. Yeah, I just, I, 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 it's not. I'm just not a fan of it. But then keep going. Keep going. But uh, then uh, Mario, uh, yeah, basically, well, they lower, uh, um, the lower the sacrifice, uh, what the frick, the sacrifice, sacrifices, uh, for, uh, prisoners are going down. Luigi's the first one to go, and I was like, mm. uh, excuse me, excuse movie, me, in the movie, I'm about to <laughs> slap you. You do hey, not but, kill off hey, but, the but luckily, Tanuki came in. Tanuki Mario came in to save the day. They go to meet up yeah. with Peach, and then um, after that, they they uh, all the Kongs. Bowser, Bowser. Uh, oh no, the Kongs, right? Well, yeah. Well, first off, uh, Cranky Kong just gets saved by a uh, yeah, Donkey saved by Kong, everyone. and he and he goes like, "Do your peck dance," and I was like, "That's great timing, but not right now." <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yeah, th that's exactly what we were thinking. It, it, it's nice how this breaks the fourth wall, kind of, like, into our thoughts. Yeah. I like that. I like that a little bit. And then, as soon as that happens, Bowser. Bowser Fire the bullet bill! And it's a literal bullet Fire bill. Like, an actual full-size bullet. The bonsai. Yeah, it was a bonsai bill. Yeah, bonsai bill. And it heads straight for the castle. Tanuki Mario goes down to try and stop it. And it basically, like, bends the pole on the top of the castle. Yeah, yeah. He flicks it with the... He flicks the eye of it. And yeah, and like, then the oh, eyes are like, and the eyes are like, <laughs> and, and, the, and he <laughs> finally looks at him like, you yeah. my eye, I'm gonna kill you now. And he he's like, the, he's the like, flagpole. you son of a bitch, I'm gonna. <laughs> he hits the flagpole, and the flat. as soon as he gets off the flagpole, the flagpole just dings right back. But up. then, as Bonsai Bill is now following Tugnuki Mario, Mario looks at the pipe. This is the best part of the movie for me best part of hands the movie. down i thought it was amazing yes but M tanuki mario leads bonsai bill straight into the pipe and surprisingly i thought at first it was going to destroy the pipe so they would be all stuck there forever i thought oh, that yeah. originally but then the bonsai bill stops the pipe the warp pipe effect w surrounds the bonsai bill and then the bonsai it's bill gets sucked, sucked it into in. it and then it explodes in brooklyn which I thought it destroyed Brooklyn. Well, it, it explodes in the warp zone, basically. Yeah. And then the... Um, it explodes the out, like, invertedly, right? From, from the inside, just the effect... Shoots out, the yeah. The whole Mushroom Kingdom. And, <laughs> and then, then after that... It it's, it's, no, it's, it stop, no, it stops for a second. And then it slowly goes oh, in, it yeah. goes in. I'm like, oh, shoot. The world's a combining. At first, you thought the world was going to... Both worlds are going to combine at first, too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought like, they were like... It's gonna combine. Oh, They're all one like, world. It's gonna be like right next to Brooklyn, like right there. Yeah. I thought I this like, this is gonna oh, be man. epic. But then all it did was bring the flowing kingdom into it. I'm like, Yeah, it, it brought yeah. in the the Bowser's fortress. Uh, and it brought in so many Mario, more elements. Everyone back it brought, there. And it brought in like a few, uh, a, a, quite a bit of elements from the Mushroom Kingdom well. Not the whole entire yeah. Mushroom Kingdom, but it quite a few in, elements. Like, a bunch of mushrooms that were right there next yeah. to the pipe. And that was it. And I was like... Kinda, and after that, you know, we see Mario right? spawn back in Brooklyn. Brooklyn's fine. Brooklyn's normal. Everyday Brooklyn. And then we just see... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's Bowser's Floyd Island! And everything from... Th this world gets sucked into Earth. Into it's basically Brooklyn. Earth, right? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. And Mario Earth. It's like... This is what I want. This is exactly... The, this is my favorite part yeah. because of the crossover I elements. Were this is... Do that. I was like... Me either. I was like... like I was like, like Miyamoto... You know? Miyamoto's not gonna go for that. Yeah. And I was like... Excuse they me? Gave, 
I feel like Illumination gave that idea to Miyamoto, and Miyamoto was like, that sounds pretty good. I can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, why, can, why didn't I think of that? Like, what? Thinking about it now, it does seem a little bit cliche, but it's, and for Mario, I've no. That. Yeah. Even it's if perfect. I was probably like in the eighties, man, and I thought the Mario movie was gonna be cliche. It literally turned it literally turned Brooklyn into the the into, it literally turned Brooklyn into the 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 set for the fights, the new, final battle and new Avengers. New Mushroom York. No, <laughs> no, new mush, it's, it's like new it's York. like it's like it turned Brooklyn into the state of how New York was in the Avengers. Oh Christ. <laughs> it, it, it's it, it literally was that it's like it's apocalypse brooklyn which literally was True. like bro this is the end game bro this is bro this is peak this but, is peak yeah that's basically it. and then the first thing that comes uh, the thing after mario that comes mm. out and everybody in the mushroom kingdom was the superstar and it's right in front of yes. mario and mario sees bowser and he goes and bowser's forward, pissed and bowser's bowser pissed steps, right above it he doesn't grab it you can see like, it in his eye you can see in his pupils too he yes. is pissed yeah, it's glowing red from his yeah eyeballs. i was like that's animation that's good that's pretty good i was like dude i'm like and he's he's done. done he's done he's he's, he's done. over he's, he's gonna kill he's gonna kill he's gonna kill jealous of mario liking or basically both peach and mario he's jealous and he's done and he's ready gonna to kill just him. kick Mario's at, and he causes Mario to freaking bruise. Yeah, literally. I was like, oh. I almost, I almost, I didn't quite feel that, and like that pain and emotion for Mario. I kind of did though. I felt it when he was just being a coward, and he like that's the first time we ever <laughs> seen Mario just be a coward. Yeah. When he and was that, like he didn't go back out there and actually fight him, I was like, yeah, Bowser wow. basically beats the living crap. Out of Mario, yeah. basically. Like, when he punches him in the in the in the Punch Out Pizza back right when the movie where it started with both the Mario brothers. Yeah. He just sits behind it. He's saying he's, he's hiding behind the jump man. Yeah, the Mario commercial. Yeah. The Mario commercial plays like glitched out on the TV. Yeah. I I'm not sure what that brings to, as it. I think what I meant, br what it brought to a sense. Help me out here, with the sense of mental part. I think it brought to the fact that he needs to do uh, that he like never gives up or something i think that's i think that's what it was because in the commercial it did say that they, we that they never give up like right before he goes out to face bowser one, one last time he's like he does this thing of course pratt let's go it's like you still kept that in the freaking movie yeah i thought that was kind of misplaced i was like it, it would have been fine if he said let's go that's fine I, I or here care. we or here we go here we go here or we go we, yeah they could have been like here we go or like something here we go instead it's like bro go. if here exactly. we go i feel like it would have been better instead of let's go because he's not yeah the, he's here go here we go sounds more serious it sounds more like yeah. this is it i would have i would have been i feel like that would have gotten me a bit more but yeah. anyways um mario comes out literally bruised just this is essentially yeah. the, this is essentially the scene from Sonic Movie 2, the final battle scene from Sonic Movie 2, but just Marioized. Well, <laughs> well, I think, I, well, I think Sonic Movie 2, it didn't really show like Sonic bruise. It was just dirt on him. No, it kind of, it, it kind of looked like it though. Anyway, but yeah. um, basically, Mario comes out and help me out here. Help me out with this scene. We gotta hurry up. <clears throat> and uh, Luigi, oh, well, he he mm -hmm. blows the fire at him because Mario. Yeah. Goes for the superstar because it's both behind Bowser and Mario. And uh, uh Bowser mm. sees the superstar and he and he like does his little flamethrower fire at him. And Luigi comes out of nowhere, saves him with the manhole cover. Exactly. And I was like, yes, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi facing his fears. Please, thank you. And I was screaming in that theater for him. I <clears> love <throat> him so much. I love my green boy. And uh, yes. And right and, after uh, that, they they, they literally backflipped into the superstar, and the music here, the reorchestrated the invincibility theme, the dude. Music. Nintendo, oh put this OST on. Just put the OST on the Spotify. Is, do what the fans what want. Do what the fans want. Can listen to it. 
I don't care where Do it is. Do a CD. I don't know. Put a CD on the Nintendo store. I don't care. Put in the Nintendo. I don't. Somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. The invincibility theme plays. <clears throat> Mario and Luigi are powered up. This reorchestrated theme just and keeps they, on playing. And, and look, I am just. And they look like they're. Badass. They look badass. Booty, they're, about, they're about like, to wreck a. They're. It, they're they look like they look like they're about to wreck a mill house. Yeah, and the Mario and Luigi parents look like mm. they look like so surprised. They're, they're so like, proud oh. in that moment. And yeah. It's just they they literally wreck house. They wreck all the Koopas, and yeah. Bowser can't do anything to them. And literally, they take out Bowser just like Mario does in N sixty four. Oh yeah. They literally they do to do the same they, exact thing. They both throw him. They both grab him by the tail and they mm. flip him up. And yep. then they freaking forward ground, aerial yeah, him formal to the Formal aerial ground. and a ground pound. Double, double forward aerial him to the ground. <laughs> and then they stomp on him finally. Like, boom. I'm like, yes, claps. Everybody in that theater mm. when I was there, <clears> everybody <throat> clapped. Everybody. I was like, thank you. This is amazing. Also, not to mention Spike. This Spike did appear throughout this battle scene a couple times, and he was just not manly at all. <laughs> yeah. Just want to say that. Like, oh. <clears throat> right, uh. Until the very until the very end of that scene, which we'll get to in just a second. Everyone gathers around. Everything's all good, and then Mario's parents come up, and they're just proud of him. They're just like, yeah. It's just it's whole such a wholesome and, and moment. Hear, it's like, and I hear the wahoo from. Mario's dad, I was like, that is Charles Martinet. I heard it. Yeah. So, honestly, so, and th and then they turned Bowser into. Oh yeah, uh, they gave him. They gave him the mini mushroom. They gave him the mini mushroom. Yeah. Basically, Peach. Basically, Bowser was like, Peach, won't you reconsider? He's like, ah, He's just, how about I take this? Take this. And then we got mini Bowser, literally mini, mini Bowser. Bowser. Super Mario Galaxy two, and I was like, yes, thank you. I loved it. Don't mind my camera quality. My camera just downgraded by a lot. So just ignore that. Anyway, um, basically, after that, they all group hug. And it spikes. Hey, now that's what I call the Super Mario Brothers callback to the original live action movie <laughs> for me. Oh, yeah. I was. I mean, technically, <clears throat> there is a handshake in, in this movie where Mario and Luigi do the little... Uh, they put their hands together, they do like this, and that was from the 1993. Yeah. I was kind of like, so you guys didn't forget about that movie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then oh, after okay. that, the the picture, the picture of them group hugging is on newspaper clipping, and we transition back to what we think is their room. But it is their room. But in the Mushroom it's Kingdom, because the as they're about... Kingdom. Come on, let's, we, there's like, we got work to do. So they go out there... And they're in the Mushroom Kingdom, and the warp pipe is right there at their door. And they pop on in, and that's oh. the movie. Again, if you stuck through the, this video this long, I sincerely apologize for the order, the, our, the crazy order we went through. That just comes to show how bad the pacing is, and how bad, like, just how rushed this movie is. Which we are just about to get into. Optimizer post credit scene, where... But basically, Bowser sings the same song that he was singing earlier, and essentially as Tiny Bowser in the cage, which is cute. And then the final post credits screen leads us back to the area where they first, Mario and Luigi first found the pipe. And somehow there is a Yoshi egg there, and it's a green Yoshi egg. Cracks, screen goes black. Yoshi! And then, and then the end of it. Okay. Again, I do again. I do sincerely apologize for this outrageous order. I'm gonna try and fix it in editing um, the video. But again, I do sincerely apologize. I hope you're still able to keep up with us. Don't blame us. Blame the order pacing and the rush. How this movie is rushed. We're gonna get into that right now. So first things first. We're gonna get this out of the way. Illumination. You've made so many great films with great plots, like Doctor Seuss to Lorax. Honestly, one of my all-time favorites. Well, I still love that movie. I hate yeah, the, I I, I still watch. I, yeah, why I, you hate on? It? It's such cool. a good movie. I was like, this was hated on. Like yeah, this is on, this is a, it's when a hidden I, gem. Oh yeah, when I was a kid, when I watched mm. that, I didn't understand what criticism was anyway. So, but then later on, when I realized, I was like, <laughs> okay, and I looked on other movies that I passively watched. I was like, this was bad, really? Okay. Yeah, whatever. it's like. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, Let's listen. No, the Grinch, the animated Grinch movie. Okay. That one was... Yeah. I, I, I should watch that, that one. I watched that one all the way. That one's yeah. eh, not as good as the Grinch Jim Carrey yeah. one. Yeah, that, that was at a point where I was kind of like, I'm kind of done with Dr. Seuss movie. <laughs> yeah, and then um, Horton Hears Who. I did watch that one. That one was okay. It was okay. It was oh, decent. That's not that's not by uh, Elimination. <laughs> oh, it's not? No, that's by the same people that did Ice Age. That's by Blue Sky. It's by Fox. Okay, forget that. Scratch that. Um, that, like, movies like Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, even Despicable Me 3. Despicable Me 3 was okay. That was okay. Secret Light Sane. Another one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely extraordinary. Sing. And then... And then Minion... Min two. And then Minions. Great. That was also great. Despicable Me 3. That was good. It was good. See, Illumination's known for making great games. I mean, not great... Great games. Films. Films. Movies. Films. 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 Illumination's known for making great films. And for this one, to see them, like, rush it like this with the pacing, it kind of makes me question question a little bit um, whether, um... Like, it just makes me question the quality. Because usually they're known make, for making great quality films. And then you see this, it's like... Hmm. That was odd. So it's like... It's kind of weird. Yeah. Do you want to jump in on I that? Will, yeah. I will add on to a point where, you know... Even though this is... This is the Mario movie, and I didn't expect anything about any, like, uh, story or anything. But... Even... And I will give, this is the only thing I will give uh, the 1993 Mario movie some credit here. It had good enough pacing to the point where you can at least somewhat pay attention. Not to the point that you would pay attention anyway, because not a bit of an adaptation. But if mm -hmm. it's a, but if, if it was good enough to a point you would actually pay attention enough, this is rushed to the point where <laughs> I almost I think I almost forgot a scene one time when I was like uh, exactly telling just like about it just like and in this I was, past hour and I was like because like the second time I saw it I was like oh I forgot that happened and I was like Jesus and the third time I got all around to it because you know it's the third time I'm watching it but the second time I was kind of like I feel like I should have remembered that because it's important to the plot that the movie has. Mm -hmm. But it didn't really... It affected me just because I felt like I should have remembered it entirely and it hurt. And I was like, wow. Cause, <clears throat> yeah, but, but I'll give it credit because this is Nintendo's movie. The Nintendo's uh, first movie in 30 years. I'm not going to hit on it too supremely. I feel it, and I know people are going to be like, "Well, no, oh, why, why should you care? And even though it's just, just because it's like Nintendo's baby, you shouldn't like, you know, hit, you shouldn't like just give it a pass." I'm like, dude, they haven't done anything like this <laughs> since like the freaking uh, animated series of Mario, and even before that was the 1993 movie, mm -hmm. and that hit them hard. And they were, they were like, no more of nothing, no more Mario media. Other than the games, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> so. And then we got to talk about the plot, too. The plot. I'm starting to talk about the weak points first, but I have to get them out of the way. Yeah. <clears throat> the plot. I know it's a Mario movie. I know Mario games have the same plot over and over. Princess Peach gets kidnapped. Mario has to go save her, save her, defeats Bowser. Mario saves Princess Peach. And that's a simply the same thing here, but with Luigi. But it still feels bland. It still feels abs it still feels the plot still feels very absent. <clears throat> it feels like an amusement to me. It feels like an amusement park ride movie that I would go to go watch like at Legoland or Disney World. It feels True. like that. It just feels like 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 just an action an action sequence that is like shown in a movie theater at an amusement park. And that's not a bad thing. Trust me, the movie was great. Like, like animation, oh, yeah. the animation, outstanding. One of the Illumination's best works of animation. And like with the music and just, it's, there's a lot of, you can tell there's tons of passion and love put into this movie. 
So you know that it was taken care of, like, taken care of the best it could be. It's just the plot. And I, it, it has to go back to the director being its first movie that they've ever directed. That's also a factor there. And then, yeah. it's just, and, uh, I, I feel like yeah, Miyamoto should have... One of, one of, yeah. there's, since there's two directors on this movie, I feel like, that actually also hits it hard. Not that that's a bad thing, because some director, some movies actually do have about more than one director anyway. And mostly that's not a bad thing anyway, because you're going to have two ideas and you're going to have uh, both ideas throughout the movie uh, with a certain scene. You're going to have a different uh, way of perspective. And perspective is everything when you want to see a movie. That's first impressions. But uh, the thing is... The direct uh, uh, Michael Jelinek, the uh, uh, one of the directors, he's never directed a movie ever. This is his first ever directed movie. Not that he hasn't directed on any movie or it hasn't like been on any movie. This is his first directed movie ever. The so far as I know, uh, both of the directors they've also worked mostly just on Teen Titans Go stuff. And not saying that Teen Titans Go is no, absolutely not. That show is great. That show, I love Teen. I didn't love it as much as the original the, Teen Titans. The movie sucks, but the show's good. Watch the show. <laughs> I thought, I thought the movie was decent. It's not as good as the show, but you know, mm. but it was. It's something. <laughs> mm -hmm. the movie is something. Uh, but um, yeah. The most mostly they've been mostly been working on uh, Teen Titans Go stuff, and that's pretty much it. I would have gotten someone more experienced, especially for a project I, like this. Exactly. This Nintendo was so wants, ambitious. Especially if they want, uh, if Nintendo wants their property to skyrocket and be known by many people, instead of just knowing that oh Mario's just a rushed plot thing. It has no thing. Has nothing to do with anything it's just it's a rush just the game, game with nothing in it you know well, not, the games aren't rushed well the, ga think no, about that. the games aren't yeah but, it's just the gameplay that people play the games for obviously yeah and I so feel like it's just like no yeah because basically the average moviegoer is gonna if you want the average moviegoer to say hey i want to play a video game how much should we play mario Whoa! Well, what if we want to play the Mario? What if we want to see the Mario movie first, and then they watch this movie? They're gonna play the Mario games, but the thing is, the movie is gonna represent the game first. So, what do you think they're gonna do when they play the game? And it's then be like, like, "Whoa, the what? game is barely like the movie. Why is the game more?" It's, it's just yeah, you gotta play the. On, you know what it for does, Sonic movie or Sonic plot. movie it actually I'm sorry that I'm bringing out the Sonic movie but I'm mean, that's oh, not because fine. I'm a Sonic it's not because I'm a Sonic fan all right for people watching the video this is not because I'm a Sonic fan it's just because it's Sonic movie is the main competitor to the Mario Bros movie literally and yeah. figuratively that's why I'm bringing <laughs> it up so yes. because with it the Sonic movie like they had yes. they had yeah. elements in the Sonic movie that actually like the wedding scene, even though it was dragged out in Sonic Movie Two, average like normal like people who don't know anything about Sonic could just go to watch the movie with their kids, like parents who don't know nothing about Sonic. They may even the, most of them enjoy. I heard things that most of those parents enjoyed the wedding scene. That's yeah. an unpopular opinion. Sonic fans don't appreciate it because it's dragging out. But for the average, like he said, for the average movie goer, it's it, it kept them entertained. See, the Sonic movie had yeah. something for everyone. The Mario movie does have something for everyone, but it feels... It's more for the gamers. <clears throat> more yeah. for the gamers. And for the kids. Because the kids, they're going to yeah. watch it. They'll watch anything. They're going to love... They love Mario. <laughs> they know who Mario is. Even if, like, you know, Hellman, Grandma might not even know what Mario is. But, like, yeah, yeah. that's a Nintendo you know like, <laughs> exactly like even like even if they look at the new like little colored switch that, that they got and be like yo that's a nintendo oh. 
Like, you know, <laughs> like, they're not gonna know what it's a Nintendo. Yeah, it's a Nintendo. Yeah, you know, they're not gonna know what the thing is, but they're gonna look at the system and be like, yeah, that's a Nintendo. I know what mm -hmm. that is. You think I'm stupid, kid? Even my parents like, know what a Switch is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, they, yeah, so. And hell, my grandma's the first one that looked on the Switch and she was like, oh, yeah, did you hear about the Nintendo Switch? I was like, what is that? I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so, again, it comes to the point where. You can't just only appeal to the gamers. You're ma you're playing this movie out on the silver screen where even people who aren't even gamers at all go there to watch movies, like, probably once a week or even every day. And they're gonna see this movie there, it's like, hmm, let's check this out. Let's see if- let's see how it goes. And if there's just too much- if there's- I feel like there's too much gamer- too much Mario references in the movie and too much Mario- like based action sequences rather than stuff that the normal audience member can pick out and understand exactly and the thing also even it's not the and 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 even know, though alex has said that oh this plot's easy to understand it's like i could barely remember some of the scenes going through this review what are you talking about my guy we were I mean, going remember, back and forth I remember every single scene well you now. watched it three times but this is for me three watching times, it once yeah watched it three times mostly that's yeah you get a pass people, for me watching it once i had a time struggling just trying to remember some of the scenes i mean like, shoot dude i mean i mostly when i watch a movie i mostly look at it from especially if it's a video game movie and there's not many video game movies that i enjoy anyway there's mortal kombat mario this one uh and the sonic movie that's pretty much it uh but yeah, uh, I mostly look at it as something that I can give someone else to, like I can recommend uh -huh. to, and something that I can give something to myself. If I gave this, if I gave the Mario movie to someone, I would have to describe it a little bit different. You're going to have to describe it differently anyway, because it's a movie. Yeah. You can't describe it like the video game entirely, because it's not like the video game entirely. You're gonna you're gonna say some stuff some stuff that's different, and even if you do, you're gonna have to compare it to the game because obviously like the game. If it's not like the game, then you're gonna have to say, "Hey, it's not like the game." Exactly. Yeah. So so, it's just it's kind of hard for the gen that's our main point. It's just it's hard for the general audience to really look so at this. That's, those are say, those are basically our two main cons of the movie. It's the pacing, yeah. the movie feels rushed. Once you get after the Mario Kart, Rainbow Road, after Rainbow Road, actually, overall, it kind of feels rushed, in my opinion. Or I guess the Rainbow Road part does, after Rainbow Road. I feel like just the the majority of the time when uh, I feel like this was in development, I feel like they were trying to do something different. And it did work, but at an extent to the point where it was kind of like, uh, I feel like, it, and it's not Miyamoto's fault, so if anyone goes like, mm. yo, to those people that are saying, Miyamoto hates story, why do you Miyamoto think had nothing to like, do with the story. No. He was why just overseeing it all. Games exist? He was why overseeing think, the production. Like, really? He had no involvement. He, well, he had some work with Chris Melodondri, but he didn't have that much involvement. He looked over and yeah. was like, all right, that looks good. All right, yeah, that looks good. I, I mean, and I know people are, like, joking because, like, Nintendo and Miyamoto basically kind of have like a sniper rifle to the freaking back of Illumination's neck and be like, you better get this right. <laughs> Which they did. <laughs> they did. But, you know, this movie, I'm guaranteeing you this movie, I'm going to say it, it probably will beat Sonic Movie 2. I will take an L. All right? And, and that's I mean, fine. And, and that's good. I mean, even though Nintendo is a corrupt company, they make good products. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this isn't... This isn't like I'm putting down the movie. It's just some things that they could have fixed. And even if I I made a I made Absolutely. like a, to many people I do write short stories and they're not in full depth of where to go to. They're kind of like a little mini summary, but everybody can get at least something from it. When I wrote like a little mini story for Mario, it was basically Mario saves the world. It was the basically the summary was Mario and Luigi actually live in the Mushroom Kingdom 
And when they hear Peach is actually kidnapped, uh, they had since Peach is one of, is more powerful than both of the brothers. Bowser is technically trying to take over everything, not just the Mushroom Kingdom, and not for marriage or anything like that. He kidnaps Daisy, and he also kidnaps Rosalina just to suck out their power and just give it to himself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, ma major another major that second major con is just the plot. Now onto the good stuff. The good stuff, unless there's more bad Yay! stuff. Is there more bad stuff? Is there more bad stuff? Uh, no. no. Okay. No. Now onto the good stuff. The music, bro. I actually bro, do I want think... to talk about the the voice cast mm. first. Oh yeah, the cast is that a good or bad thing? Well, it's kind of mixed, right? Yeah, that's yeah. All right, so Chris. Let's talk about the cast in general. Chris uh, is livable. Chris is okay to Chris like Pratt work with. Chris is a good Mario. He's not a He's not great. He's not decent either he is in the middle he's good he's good enough to the point where we wouldn't even have to worry about his voice and like I've you just forget about it you just yeah. yeah and i've seen this throughout the uh people's reactions after the movie where we were like and they were like <laughs> mario sounds pretty good anyway but everybody everybody was like to the people that like everybody and this is for everyone that was like hating on him i was like why no one's I, I bet you nobody i was like bet you nobody's gonna care when the movies comes out hey look at no look at that now times have changed <laughs> like really like dude it's been i was like guys the movie comes out in 2023 you really think they're gonna like yeah. you really think this is bad like come on <laughs> mario yeah, sounded, so mario sounded like he was an old old man when his first voice came out in the donkey kong cartoon back in the 80s so don't so yeah and then charlie day mm. my man i love luigi in this movie charlie day does an amazing job charlie day like, if we don't get that luigi's mansion movie i swear my man giving, or at least a short I mean, they, a short they kind of they kind of did talk with him they kinda i did, did i, I did hear but if we don't get it mm. King Boo is in this movie for a reason, and we see him. All we're, me all we're missing oh. is the Plusher Gus. The Plusher Gus. Yes, the Plusher Gus. All Plusher that's, Gus. All we, that's all we need. And then um, Peach, amazing. Honestly, sounds like a badass. Honestly, she's great delivery with her lines. Very sincere in some of her lines as well. Yes. And. She sounds like a princess. She sounds like a, a queen. A queen, even. I don't, I don't understand the hate towards her character, either. She's, I don't know she's, where that went from. I like the character shift they've done with it. It makes her I mean, feel different. It makes her feel... It's not even, it makes her it's stand not even that out. much of a shift because she's done this since basically Mario 2. Just like, in, just like on that so, sign that's on your wall. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Truly. Jack Black. There's, there's nothing needs to be said about Jack Black. Let's move on. He's he's he did amazing. He's gold. He's golden. Moving like, on. He's no, golden. He's golden. He's he perfect. literally took he took the golden mushroom seriously and he gave himself a boost. All right. Like, there's nothing else to be said. Enough said. Enough said. All right. Then Kigo Michael Key. He was no, alright. I, I don't funny. think he got. I don't he think he got enough screen time though. He did it though. I thought he yeah. was gonna be bigger. I think he can Michael. Key. I think he got robbed. I think he got I, robbed. I, I thought it was gonna like involve him, like why he's the only one that's. Like, I thought he was gonna be like an outcast, like everybody, like why are you like going outside of Toe Town and doing it? Like I thought it was gonna like he was gonna be put. They didn't do much with his character at all. Yeah, they didn't they do didn't. really much with it. I thought but, they were. Going but for Keegan's voice, it was okay. It was I, good. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? It wasn't okay. It was great. I'm sorry. Forgive me. It was great actually. <laughs> I, I love Toad in the movie, though. Because I'm, I'm surprised that Keegan and Keeve will reach that pitch. So that that's awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome delivery for that. Yeah, I just feel bad for Keegan. I just I feel thought, bad for Keegan. He yeah. should have gotten more screen time. He and then, really. oh boy, uh, Seth Rogen. <laughs> um, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. I won't say he's bad in um in the other movie. He's 
he's doing in the other movies he's done in the past. But you think so? Years of knowing that he just does his own voice and doesn't do anything else like every uh, everybody else in this movie. He doesn't make a voice. He just voice actor is British. <laughs> exactly. Accent like what? He, even if she, even if. Pete, even if Anya Taylor Joy did a British accent, I feel like people wouldn't care about that either. Yeah, Pete I Chavian's think voice would have been fine. But the fact that she did like, it anyway was incredible. Yeah, like was incredible. <clears throat> All, but the thing is, Seth Rogen, and he did this in an interview too. He was like, "If you're gonna," it, it, he was like, "They called me, and I said, oh, well, you know, if you want me to do Donkey Kong, he's just gonna do me. Uh, uh, he's just gonna sound like me.'" Because I don't do voices. Then don't... Oh What's my. the point? I was like... So, Illumination, you're just going to accept that? Because the, I hate the idea no. of the fact that you have to get... That's just poor... Man. That's just poor that, management. Yeah. So, I hate the uh, idea that you have to get big Hollywood names just to advertise your movie. I understand, like, probably one Hollywood name for, like, one character. But don't make it the entire cast... Because that's gonna hurt the movie. Especially those three, if, those three Hollywood names were perfect. Of your but just... cast, <clears throat> yeah. Especially if the majority of your cast <clears throat> is not, they are not familiar to voice acting, and even if they are, no, notice the fact of what they've done in the past instead of just going like, oh yeah, shoot, just just hire them. Who knows, man? Moving but on. I don't know how, I, this, it, don't know how the system Seth works Rogan's... in Hollywood. If you like Seth Rogen, good for you. Kevin Michael Richardson, yes. <clears throat> I love him. Dude yeah, he did, he did an awesome job. Yes. And then... Dude has a deep voice, but can do any voice. He voiced the Joker in the Batman series. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. And I love him so much. Oh my god. And then Charles uh, Martinet. Charles it, Martinet as Mario's dad and the Jumpman guy. Yes, good. But it's Holy gonna be good. Crap, it's dude. gonna be good. What, what do you expect? The it's good. Entire theater it's good. like jump good. up and yell hooray! Like, oh my god. Made us and that's all basically like the cast. Crap. And then the music. Should we go on the music? Yes. Music. I mean, we can't really play the music without getting copyright claims, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that. But True. take our word for the it. You will be impressed. You will be impressed. So godlike. From the start of the movie, you will be impressed. To the end of the film, you will feel the inner if there's child one thing, in if your there's, body to rise and say, "You did a good job." If there's at least, movie. if there's at least one thing you can take away from this movie, it's that the score is damn good. You can give it that. Yes. And then the references, that's just the same level of quality, exact same level exactly. of. Perfection. Even even if the reference isn't from a Mario game and it's from another Nintendo franchise, it it's still, still good. feels good because it tells you that they're pointing out to the other fans and they're going like, "Yeah, we notice you. We got you." <laughs> I and got like you, I said, my guy. The Starbox reference. Still can't believe you didn't see that. Still cannot believe that you did not see that. I'll have to go and watch it again. <laughs> I'll have to convince my sister to take me to the theaters this weekend. You're the number one Star, Star Fox fan that I actually know. I've been wanting know another Star Fox game. Like I've been wanting another Star Fox game. I haven't like the known one IP anyone that, I love. that even likes Star Fox. And you're the first person that i know that likes Star Fox. And it hurts that you didn't even... Yeah, it does. Know. You didn't even peek at the R-Wing that was right above Mario's team. Besides that... Animation, best and anim quality. illumination has ever done. Best Everybody illumination has ever done. Like, this is an illumination film. There's, and there's I a, thought so too. Yeah, like, no one. There, yeah, no one believed this was illumination. No, everyone was like, watch. No, they leaked this from some <laughs> other company, and they said, "Yeah, this is our film now." They slapped our name like, on it. <laughs> like, they were like, "Yo, DreamWorks, could you make a film for us?" Yeah, totally. They just put it Yo, right Walt there. Disney, like, Walt Disney Animation Studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like, yeah, Disney, could you make a film for us? It's called Super Mario Brothers. And they were like, sure. And they just gave it to them. You're going to have to give us a lot Disney of money. Disney wouldn't do that. that. Disney what? would, yeah. They, they would, they would look like one, the, like hundred the billion the, dollars. They just looked at, the Disney looked at Nintendo. I was like, this is for Sora. Because he's 
<laughs> um, besides that, <laughs> and besides that, that's pretty much it. Besides our theories and our little other comments we want to make about the movie. Um, anything you want to add first? I'm just saying, if you're a genuine Mario fan, even if you know like barely even a little about the games, you know a little reference or two, you're gonna enjoy this movie. For the average moviegoer, it depends. But you still, might leave mixed. Hopefully. You might leave. Yes. Invested. You might. I don't know. Just. I. Um, um, I will say this. It depends on where you are on your disappointed scale. This isn't. Yeah. The, your experience you on the movie. Your experience in the movie is going to 100% depend. Yes. On your previous, either your previous knowledge of the Mario games, or if you're fr or your familiar your familiarity with Nintendo. Yeah. As a whole. So that will if that will affect your experience in the movie. So if you know nothing about Mario, go watch a playthrough of a Mario game right now. <laughs> Literally. Just go watch any playthrough of a Mario game. You'll, really? You'll, like, you don't even have to play a game at this point to know what Mario is. But if you yeah, just you know, know the name Mario, you if you, if you just know the name Mario and you know nothing else, you don't know enough. Go do your research before watching the movie if you want the best <laughs> experience. That's all I'm saying. Yes. And but hey, maybe you'll like it without doing research. Who knows? Also, I'm being quieter true. because it's late over here. Which means, probably should wrap this up. Overall, I think this movie was okay. I mean, not okay. It was good. If you don't, if you, if you just pretend that the plot had a strong narrative, it was a great movie. And honestly, no, I'm, I already can tell this movie is gonna outsell Sonic Movie 2 and possibly make 150 million dollars in the box office that's my estimate exactly. so you know you know they're gonna make another movie and nintendo if you don't make a zelda movie or even a star if you don't make a star fox zelda they'll and it. smash they'll, they'll, make it. they'll make it it's from miyamoto miyamoto made zelda miyamoto made star fox they'll do it they'll I, do it i better see i better see if, he'll, I better, he'll make he'll make sure of it you know damn well he'll make sure of it. I want the Smash Brothers oh, initiative to well, happen. I think you're going a little bit too fast because there's like a bunch I want of the Smash initiative. Dude, no. There's a bunch of we still have Metroid, Kirby, Donkey Kong still. Even though we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to wait ten we're gonna have to wait ten years when we're just old and we just do this for a possible I don't think and Nintendo we is have a I fifty fifty chance of doing this for a living. No, I don't think no. <laughs> I think Nintendo knows that they're gonna have to put like at least two movies per year, at least, because Illumination does the same thing. They put two movies each year. So it's gonna do Nintendo movies from now on. I don't know about that. Because but... you want to know something during the previews, Illumination sh show like show the preview of their next movie. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that on YouTube before I actually went to the movie. They actually showed like, the preview in the, the theater. Hell? Just a movie about birds migrating south and west. Yeah, migration, and then I saw the the Illuminations. Yeah, Illuminations. Like... Illuminations. <laughs> like, it's Illuminations oh first documentary. It's Illuminations first documentary about oh, migrating like, birds. Christ. I was like, is that literally what the movie is called? And you know, with that like... being said, that's all we have to say about our spoiler review. Again, we're so sorry that we were out of order. It's again. For a person who watched it three times, it's easy for him to remember. But for me, who just watched it today, it went by so quick that I couldn't even tell what was happening. So I'm guaranteeing you the next Mar Mario movie will be better. They'll 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 know. They'll know. I think Nintendo will learn from this. And the thing is, because this movie is getting badly reviewed right now from critics, at least. Yeah. The audience loves <clears throat> the hell out of this movie. Audience really loves this movie, and I, I think, think they, I think the audience. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm hoping that Nintendo is taking this from the audience's perspective instead of the critics. And I hope Miyamoto knows that he's done a great job, at least to towards the fans. Yes, he's done a great effort. This movie, yes. you can tell, you can tell Illumination, Nintendo, Miyamoto-san, and Universal. Okay, maybe not Universal. They care too much about their money. But Illumination, Nintendo, and Miyamoto-san. You can tell that those three groups of people... Okay, okay. I don't know about Nintendo. 
Illumination and Miyamoto put their hearts and souls into this movie. And you can just tell from the animation quality, the references, the music, and just the... Even the work with, with the... With the like, just... Uh, I, don't, I don't even need to say anything. You will you can tell straight away, like 20 minutes in, that you can see these the, the fans, Nintendo fans, in Illumination Studio putting in what they feel audiences will react to the most. Be like, oh, oh yeah! It's just, they know what Nintendo fans want because they are fans, and they've been fans ever since they've, they've been kids. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Is that this movie was made by fans for fans and with the best effort they could have given. And if that's not enough, you'll get even more effort put in the next movie. So that's it for my spoiler review. It's been way too long. I've been recording for two and a half hours. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this review and you guys want to see even more content like this that I that goes on for long periods of time, make sure you do leave that like and subscribe so you don't miss out on a single piece of content. Follow me on Twitch. I am streaming on Twitch a lot now, so make sure you do follow me there as well. And then join the Discord. Um, well, you don't have to, but the Discord is... I mean, you can if you want to. Join the Discord if you want to. It's there in the description if you want to, or it's it's up there somewhere. It's it's up in that corner somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Hollow, for joining me. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out. I just want to say real quick, as I'm fighting this clip, sometimes with this Bro Chris Pratt's Brooklyn accent, it's like, it sounds, it's like, you're going to help me find my brother. Brother. It's like, what? Because <laughs> he's like, you're going to help me find my brother. It's like, why is it so like, kind of British, Australian, like, I mean, I think Brooklyn is kind of like that sometimes too. I don't, to, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I I actually went to. I, 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 I just crack up. I just crack up at some of the deliveries he gives. I don't know why. I, I'm sorry. You're gonna help me find my brother.